<clears throat> All right. Hang on. Let me crack my beer open. And we need like a pre a pre show ritual or something. Like it was. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Just something to do before we record. I thought we took shots. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, let's do the shots. We're out. No we, shots. we finished everything. Oh, I have a bottle at the house. I'm just yeah. kidding. Nah, it's too long. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, welcome back to another episode of A Town Talk. Uh, today we have another full house. It's the Jim Bros plus our boy Jerry. What's going on, Jerry? What's up, A Town? What up, what up, man? Um, so to my right, I got Raleigh. On the big couch, we got Olivas on the left. In the middle, we got Louis LaVerge. And then Jerry on the far right. Damn, he almost left him hanging, dog. Almost. <laughs> almost. So Jerry, Jerry's uh, one of our homies. Um, another fellow Anthony resident. Um, how long have you been here in, in, in A-Town for, Jerry? All my 35 years on this big, big blue earth. Damn, 35. 35. Dollars. Are you the oldest one here? No, yeah. yeah. Yep. This fuck yes. is the oldest one. Oh, shit. Yes. So you were class of 07. 07? You were 08? Yeah. 099. Damn, I'm the baby. 09, both of you? Oh. These fuckers. Yeah, us oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I was 11. Yeah, class. there's 11 people in your class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the 11 of us. Cool, man. Well, thanks for coming on the pod, man. And Louie, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. this is your, your second time. Yeah. Well, I was told that my boy was going to be in it, so might as well be in it too, right? Yeah. That's sweet, dude. <laughs> cool. Invited himself. He, yeah, he, he, pretty much, he pretty much showed up. We didn't even tell him. He just found out that Jerry was going to be on the pod and... He's like, I, I gotta, I gotta be there. Johnny sent a message to the wrong group chat. Yeah, yeah I was like, fuck, fuck. I'll be there. I was like, I was like, guys, uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Louis gonna have to be here, unfortunately. <laughs> we'll give him a, a pretend mic. It doesn't even work. Like, yeah. he's, you can't even hear him. Just put him yeah. in the middle. You just put yeah. him in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Thanks for thanks for coming. Um. So last week we did the the neon paint party. That was that was pretty pretty intense. When is that episode? That, well, it'll be the episode before this one. So next Monday. Next Monday, us right now. If you're watching this, it was last week. Okay. Yeah. How was it, dog? It was a lot, man. It was intense. Um, I was telling the guys that it, it was a great learning experience for everybody. I think. I, def- I definitely learned a lot from it. I definitely want to do it again. And if we're invited next year, we'll definitely do it again. But we will have to change up some things. Definitely be yeah. more prepared. Um, get there a lot earlier. It sucked because it was that day we all had things going on. Um, so I couldn't. I, I wasn't back in Anthony until 830. And the event started at 8. And Did you guys watch the... Do you guys, are you on Fifth Fam? Do you watch Fifth Fam, Jerry? Mm-hmm. No, another one? So that's why we're boys, dog. <laughs> that's like anti Fifth Fam. You don't yeah, watch yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm the yeah, only one. Dude, I, I have to watch. <laughs> I have to keep up with the times. But the lines, bro. Or did you guys see the line? Dude, I went, I went to, I was trying to put gas at Pilot. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Did they close the freeway again? Like, sorry, Anthony? Fuck no, dude. It was all from the paint party, dog. Crazy, yeah. stupid traffic, bro. Yeah. So it was like a two hour wait to get in yeah. that's crazy Fuck. that sucks that's man insane. because there was traffic i think i-10 was fucking closed so yeah that day that day mm-hmm. i-10 was right? closed earlier god damn and it. i went to the northeast but i went through the gap because i wanted to avoid all that something like, yeah. i shouldn't take the gap and on the way back i came back through the gap which if you guys haven't gone through the gap lately they really fixed it up yeah it's, now it's two lanes badass, yeah, badass. <laughs> i yeah. was like fuck yeah yeah it's legit a highway now it's legit yeah, yeah. they just need lights now because it's still fucking dark but, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 but you know it's new mexico that's true eventually yeah it is for real <laughs> another 10 years maybe but when i came through the gap dude the traffic was already it was past the anthony bridge and it was getting towards the the Chaparral exit there. Holy it shit! It was terrible. 
Um, so I didn't even go down this way. I went straight down through like the dairies and then went all the way around. Oh yeah, yeah. But lucky for us, we were able to get a VIP parking area. So we went through Wildcat, and they let us in through that. Through the back end. Through the back end. Wild, yeah. So we only waited in line for like ten minutes. No, not even ten minutes. No, it was. Damn, it was you guys cool. felt fucking VIP. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> So we get there. At this point, it's already 9 p.m. Um, we met up with the guys from the Takeover Show 915. Shout out Misa and Chewy, um, our homies. Uh, we did their podcast also this week, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, they show up with us. Uh, we get there, went through the back door, carry all the equipment. We start setting up the podcast. We got a cabana that um, that we had reserved for us. So it was nice secluded from everybody, but there was fucking kids everywhere. So that that event was like, the it was sold out, and they hadn't they hadn't had a sellout in like I don't know like three years for oh, a shit. paint party. Like they were like small kids or like teens. Teens, oh, okay. dude, from like fucking toddlers all the way to like <laughs> eighty year olds. <laughs> there was a toddler yeah, at one point. There, like not even kidding, dude. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it was crazy. It's just it's cool because you know it's something to do and it's something you know that gives us. Like, it gives Anthony, like, representation, right? Like right. People show up and shit. Um, okay. Um, so, what are they saying? So, yeah, so we get Checking, our cabana, right? We didn't have no beer. You can yeah, take yeah. beer in there? Yeah, so they had told us um, we were going to be provided beer. Or um, so Who was like, right, cool. gonna, going to provide you guys beer? Like, VIP status? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That's but cool. I think they just got, I th- the, like I said, the event was insane. I think they just, it was too much. That everybody was like, like scrambling, yeah, you know, like, and they had a bunch of shit going on, and it was just, it was crazy, dog. Like, any fights? Yeah, sure there, was there was fights. We didn't see any because we 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 stayed in our bubble, dog. Like we're yeah. not leaving this cabana. Like we fucking stayed there. We only left to like the bathroom, and then we went to the bar after. But we did like half of the pod. Um, I think we actually we did all of the pod without drinking because. Just, yeah, they had insane. told us the lines were like insane to get beer so we're like let's just finish the episode and then we'll go figure out the beer situation and then when we went to the beers it wasn't even that big the lines weren't that big mm. but like was it a legit bar or they were just fucking selling out selling cans of beer cans yeah. of beer yeah. Yeah. but like, then no they were like they had shit. no they had like uh like shots of whiskey and tequila oh yeah oh really yeah. but they were already like pre-served that like, they were pouring it in front of you they already like pre-served just mm-hmm. like make, oh, make it go by okay. quick yeah, yeah yeah you didn't go to live us nah i was uh what happened yeah how was the dad i want my dad you know <laughs> oh shit you're a dad <laughs> yeah that's uh you know <laughs> had to be a dad damn dude yeah you should have been like you know what let's just go to New York. let's go i'll take you want to <laughs> go there were tallers already might as well take them yeah <laughs> yeah you 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 probably could have I probably you could yeah dude yeah yeah but he was nah is not about it nah, nah he he's could. out by like nine ten dog so oh, okay. he could have played in the wave pool dude <laughs> <laughs> that wave pool did you see the color of the water dog <laughs> fuck no <laughs> way why what was up with it uh well I guess because people have paint oh they yeah. go in the oh, water fuck. and then it just washes off yeah that it looked like a, sucks. it looked like the real grand <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy bro <laughs> Yeah. It was the park, like the entire park open or nah, just like just part of it? Like the, areas. that Vortex alien oh, yeah, ride yeah, yeah. and then like the wave pool. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. Like not the fucking Screamer and stuff, that little nah, area? So. No. But it, like those rides were closed, but like the rest of the park was open, I guess. Because there's oh, still people okay. like just finding places to sit and stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. It was cool, man. It was did really you, cool uh, Did you dance? Oots, 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 oots. No, after we finished, we we wrapped up, we packed everything, and we just hung out there, and we were just kicking it with these guys talking, and people started because so they had to they were only allo- allowing a certain amount of people inside of the wave pool, and everybody else was waiting in line, so they were waiting next to where we were at, so they were like looking over, seeing what we were doing, and then when we finished, we were just chilling there. People started jumping the barrier to try to shortcut through where we were at because there's a gate. We had like our own gate to go into the wave pool. And then we're like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Like the uh, Misa and Chewy, they stopped them. And these guys right away started hustling, huh? They're like, we'll let you guys in, but you guys got to follow us and subscribe. They're like, pull out your phones, pull out your phones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. straight up. And then yeah, everybody, like people from the line say, like, you guys want to cut? 
all right, come on, but like pull out your phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gained like a good like ten followers on that. Right? <laughs> so, but it's something, dog. So yeah. that's cool. So man. yeah, shout out to to those guys. That was, that was a good time. Yo, but was it was it cold? Like, was it a good night to be in the fucking wave pool and shit? Whether it was perfect. Dog. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Nice. yeah. We got right. in. We got our feet in in the water. And we kind of <laughs> just chilled for a bit, but we didn't get like full full in. So you guys just did it, like, just you two? You weren't taking, like, random people to talk to them or what? No, it was just us. Meraz was there. Um, he did. Meraz was up. Yeah, shout out <laughs> Thirsty. But, I, dude, it was it was just a lot. Like, I, I felt overwhelmed with the whole situation because, like, I was trying to set everything up and then making sure, like, the cameras are ready. Like, you guys know how long it takes for us to set up, mm-hmm. make sure everything's ready. And I was rushing to do that. And... You guys will see it, like, part of the video. Um, it wasn't in focus, one of the cameras, like, for half of it. Damn. Because of that same reason where it was just yeah. rushing to get everything done. But overall, I think it was cool. Big learning experience. And, like, now whenever we do live events, now I know what to expect. And, yeah, it was, was good exposure. Was the music pretty badass? Like, were you be able to... I couldn't, you know, I didn't really pay attention to the music. Nah. I could hear it, from my house. It sounded pretty oh. badass. <laughs> yeah. But I like that. But it was just music. loud. Yeah, we were trying yeah, to record. Yeah. You mean with the headphones? It was just like, hey, still a little hard to hear. Turn really? it down, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're, trying yeah, to... we're trying to shoot a podcast <laughs> here. You're yeah. not the only ones in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Any famous DJs that went or something? Uh, bingo yeah, players. Bingo players. And then oh, what was okay. the other guy? Johnny Henry, Cage. Henry Fong. Tiesto. Henry Fong. Henry Fong. Tiesto. No, not Tiesto. Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. As usual, right? Yeah. That's like in El Paso. Yeah. Yeah, legend, I guess. Shout out Johnny Cage, man. He's cool, he dude. He gets down, bro. Cause it mixes. Yeah. You know what? Like, I, I got, I got some, some respect for Johnny Cage, man. He, did you guys see that what he did for the Ritosa people? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was pretty badass what they did. <laughs> yeah. They got a bunch of supplies, and it was like right after it happened too. Like, yeah, like the, the day trip, after. The day after, and then the, some police officers. The off-duty officers escorted him, escorted the truck to the to Redosa. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was cool, man. That's cool. Nice, that's cool. Man. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so you like that kind of music, Jerry? Yes, sir. Yeah. Dance music, techno, house, all that stuff. What's the difference? Um, it's it's hard to explain, bro. But there's a difference like that. The type of music that was playing at Wet and Wild, it, mm-hmm. it's like EDM, like EDM. You know, get get the it's crowd going crazy. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like house techno shows, it's it's a little more, a little more calm. But like the rhythm, the beats, it's, it's sick, dude. Yeah. It's, you know, house is usually what you hear like at bars. Yeah. Where mm-hmm. you just like, it's, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you could just vibe. To and was it there? And what's what's uh, techno? Techno's it's, techno's a little harder. It's like, like and then they there's have a little like, bit more bass to it, I guess. The beat drops. Can ask, you can ask our, our boy Chooser. He's Chooser. an expert on that. Right? Yeah, fucking Chooser. Shout, shout out Chew Dog. Because it all sounds the same to me, dog. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Lot of you know what? You know, I, thought this, I thought that. But then, like, I would hang out with these guys, and, you know, they would go to, like, those clubs and stuff. 301. 301, and it's totally yeah. different, dog. But like, this one, this see, it's like, this one sounds like, mm 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 And this one sounds like, mm 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 Like, okay. Yeah, there's a difference in the second moves. <laughs> <laughs> I got a funny story about 301. Um, and it involves Johnny Cage, actually. So okay. this was back in my, because, is it still going on? Is 301 still a place? Nah, no, closed they, they closed down, right? Yeah. Well, I think, like, they still, uh, like, they'll still bring shows, but the club isn't isn't there. No oh, okay. They just do, like, club. events. Yeah. It's like a little Is that off of Montana? Spies? Or where was it? No, nah, it was on Ochoa. Ochoa oh, I'm Street. thinking about D-Club. Yeah, that's from back D-Club. <laughs> D-Club was... I remember that. Well, I don't remember that. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Good times, dog. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway. Anyway, so uh, we're, I went to 301, and I was with Jermaine, and I think my sister. I don't know. This is, like, we. I had just turned 21, so that was, we were going a lot. We were going out a lot. And Johnny Cage was playing that night. So we're out there, you know, we're looking for like girls and stuff. And then I see a group of girls and I tell Jermaine, I'm like, yo, let's go hit them up. So we go talk to the girls and yeah, we're there, you know, spitting game. And it turns out that these girls, they had came into town because I think that weekend Sun City 
was happening mm -hmm. and Johnny Cage was going to play there. Mm -hmm. So, and we were there and then the, the girl's like, yeah, we're here for like Sun City. And he's like, oh, like Johnny Cage is going to be there. And like, I love Johnny Cage. Like, we came from, uh, from Vegas. We drove down from Vegas just to see him. What? Yeah. What, from That's crazy, bro. Las Vegas, New Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. So, and I'm like, Johnny Cage is like, yeah, like he's so fucking cool. I'm like, all right. And I'm like, you want his autograph? And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, like I'll go, I'll go ask him. Like, just give me something to sign. And she's like, uh, yeah, take my phone. And I was like, all right, cool. So I grab her phone. I go up to like I go through the the, the club. I'm like, tss, tss, yeah, it's yeah. like dancing through everybody. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, literally right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I make my way to Johnny Cage, and then I'm like Johnny Cage, and he can't hear me, dude. He's all doing his DJ shit. Yeah, and I'm like Johnny Cage, and then he's like, he's like, hey, what's up? And then he looks away, and I'm like, no, Johnny Cage. And then like, I, and he looks at me again. He's like, and then he's like, what's up, man? And I'm like, sign the phone. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, okay. <laughs> Like, you got a marker? Yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Aren't you famous, bro? Like, yeah. you're, you're supposed to be fucking. Where's the marker? Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, no. He's like, where can I get one? He's like, I don't know. I was like, Walmart? <laughs> yeah. So he's so like, just, just, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go get a marker. And then he's like, all right, cool. So he goes back and doing the DJ thing. And I'm like, fuck, we're going to get a marker. And I thought, like, the bouncers, because they got to, like, Oh, cross people yeah so i go my way <laughs> yeah yeah dancing like that reminds me of a uh, don't mess with the zohan yeah oh, it's yeah. on the hips dude the hips it's an adam Sandler movie ah that's fine <laughs> so I, I make it back and then i end up getting a marker from somebody up in the front and then you dance back yeah and then i dance back <laughs> so like i get to johnny cage and i'm like dude like sign the phone and he's like cool dude he fucking signs it and then I'm like, thank you, Johnny Cage. And so I make my way back to the girls. And then I show the girl the phone. And this girl was like dying. Dude. She's like, oh, my God. You're actually That's so crazy. Bro. And I'm like, that's what I do. That's yeah. what I do, baby. That's and then I never man. saw her again. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Man. Yeah, that was a pretty good story, Doc. Yeah. Dude, well, he, he has a, a channel on XM Radio on, yeah. Pibble, on Pibble Station. He has like his own uh, slot on Saturdays. Oh, oh no way. Yeah. People hear him like. Damn. Around, you know? Oh, nah, he's, he's I didn't legit, know that. Man. Yeah. Wow. wow. Cool guy. Who has XM Radio, though? I do. I do. I had, I, had it, I had it free for a year. Yeah, me too. Oh, my car. Yeah, it was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I was like, yeah. this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I used to listen to Howard Stern. Um, You listen to Howard Stern? Yeah, I listen to all kinds of shit, dude. I remember when Prince died. Shout out, Prince. Rest in peace. Um... There was a one radio station that was just playing his music over and over and over, like 24-7. It was dope. Was it like the R.I.P. Prince station? Yeah. 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 Still going. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's still going. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So, should we get into it? Into oh, the into, into, into the it. story? Into the reason why I asked Jerry to be on this? <laughs> Are you ready, dog? Or? I'm ready, dog. Yeah? yeah. All right. Just so start the story. You're gonna. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ask Jerry specifically to be on this podcast because uh -huh. he has a very interesting story. Okay. All right. So, before we begin, do you believe in aliens, dog? Fuck yeah, I do. Raleigh, do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Yes or no? It's either yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Know, right? Okay. <laughs> yes and, and no. <laughs> Johnny, the legal or illegal? <laughs> i believe in both <laughs> okay. i've seen the illegal ones. <laughs> i've seen i see them all the time yeah i have yet to see a legal one <laughs> yeah I, I really do actually <laughs> at work it's ridiculous dude but not like you know fucking yeah fucking aliens uh, what's the x-file song i'm starting to sweat now raleigh <laughs> the truth is out there yeah those motherfuckers yeah drink your beard it'll go away i will hydrate <laughs> you gotta hydrate so it's just started wait wait wait. so do you i do yeah yeah i said I like real it. fucking <laughs> yeah dude how can you not aliens have to be real yeah we're not the only ones here bro this the like if you think about the universe how massive it is like we're in one little galaxy 
and there's hundreds and thousands and millions or gazillions, trillions, and billions of galaxies out there. Yeah. So there has to be. You know, like the movie Men in Black. All right. Do you, do, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you remember the ending of it though? How yeah, it's yeah, that yeah. alien like playing marbles and shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but oh, and it's the inside, marbles yeah. like the, the universe or yeah. Seeing that as a kid really fucking opened up my eyes. Like, oh, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah. You know, it's fucking crazy how big the universe could be, yeah. bro. You know. Yeah, for or sure. Or how we got created or whatever. Right. You know what it's I'm interesting, saying? right? Fuck yeah, it it's is, fucking bro. crazy. So, all right, so I'm interested in aliens, mm-hmm. and I have my own thoughts and all that shit, but we could get into that. But Jerry has a very, very fucking interesting story where he may or may not have seen a UFO, mm. right? I definitely did see one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, definitely. I think so. I think so, dog, because, I mean, it, it, was, it was the craziest shit, bro, like... So it was, let me set it up for you. Dude, it was right here. You know where the church is right here? Yeah. It was, that's where it was. That's where Little where Lulu's yeah. right daycare. Right okay. Yeah, dog. Is that? How long ago was this? This was a couple, oh, five. Like 10 years ago. It's a long time ago, bro. Yeah. It was, it was a while. Um, we were sitting outside Chu's house. Me, Chu, and Rick. Shout out to my boy, Rick. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, Rick. Shout out, Rick. Shout and out, Rick and Chu. I was, I was sitting Rick on Chu's on uh, dad's uh, truck. Mm-hmm. facing that way dog west that's west right facing yeah. west yeah, west and the sun was going down already bro we're just chilling shooting the shit talking dog and then um i don't know why i just kept like looking off into the horizon bro like the whole time i these guys would talk and i would just doze off and then one time i at, at one point i looked over and i saw like it just looked like a star you know so i didn't think shit of it i'm like it's the first star of the night, whatever, you know? Did these fuckers have their back turned? Or? Nah. Rick was sitting next to me. Chu had his back turned to it. So then uh, <laughs> we're just we're talking, dog, you know? And then I look again, and I see that it, it's, it's like, coming towards me. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's a fucking plane, you know? Right. Well, who cares? And then these guys are talking and talking, and then I don't know why, dog. I kept, I kept just looking in that direction, you know? And then... And then once it, it starting, it, once it started getting close enough to where I, for sure, I could have identified if it was a plane, a helicopter, something that we know, you know, mm-hmm. and I couldn't, dog. So then once it got to that distance where I could not tell what it was, I just, I did not stop staring at it, bro. I did not stop looking at this until it left our atmosphere, dog. No bullshit. So then it's getting closer and closer, and I'm just like, dude, what the fuck is that shit? And I'm, <laughs> dude, like, I'm staring at it the whole time, dog, you know? And I don't know if you remember the the big old pine trees that that church used to have. Yeah, yeah. Johnny? yeah, yeah. So it was like <clears throat> it took, from this pine tree to the to the end of the pine tree, it was that big, dog. You know? Okay. So it's getting closer and closer, and and in, just in my head, bro, I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm staring at it, staring at it, and then and then once it got to the church, once it got to the trees, dog, I got a, I got off the truck because I was like dumbfounded, dude. Like I was like. And then, then, then finally, I started talking out loud, though. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, dude, what the fuck is that? And then Rick finally saw it. Dude, he was scared for his fucking life. I'm not, I'm not joking with you guys. Dude, he's like, dude, what the fuck is that? Let's go inside, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. like, nah, chill, dog. <laughs> but but, but it, was, it was weird, dude, because cause once, I, once I got up and once I started talking out loud, it just froze behind the trees right there. It just stayed there. And then once I started walking towards it, straight up, dog. In like less than three seconds, it was a star. Less than three seconds, dude. And Chu turned, Chu turned around just as it was going back up, so he saw like the very last of it. But in three seconds, it was a star, dog. That's like out of the atmosphere. What? And Did- but but after that, I was like, nah. Like it have to it had to have been a drone or or like some government type of shit. But it didn't make a single sound, dog. And I, I've Did it been have to any the, lights to it. Yeah, it had lights. It like had lights blinking, like on the like corner. Like... Oh well, well it had when it was coming towards me, the lights were bright. And then when it got to the church behind the trees, it's like when you dim your phone all the way down, bro. Mm-hmm. Like they were barely visible, like reddish kinda. Mm-hmm. Like barely visible, but I could see the lights, you know? And then it was just gone, dog. In three seconds, dude. Gone. What the fuck? What and color dude, what color was it? 
it, it, it was like the color of the sky yeah but that i could just see the lights you know yeah it was kind of like like a light here a light up here up here and down here so it was kind of like cloaking yeah oh shit but but the thing that trips me out is like it just stopped <clears throat> once i started walking towards it you know it stopped right there dog straight up in there in it's less like than the, three seconds it's like the the ghost in super mario so whenever you look at them they yeah, stop moving stops. and then you look away and then they come at you again dog no one fucking plays super mario dog <laughs> i do oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> hey but let me ask you like all right if if you were to be next to it say how big would you say this thing was or small no nah, it was big bro like like the size of a yeah, car like the, the, or, from wall to wall no shit. Yeah. Like a good 20 feet. 20 feet? Yeah. Damn. And now we were like... And how old? 20 yards tall. Like that. Just <clears throat> exactly like that. Yeah. This room? Yeah. Like 20 by what? How tall is the roof? Like 10? 10. That's crazy, bro. Damn, wow. dude. And, and so that's... And that's what... Afterwards, I'm like, nah, I had to have been a drone or something. So then I started looking at drone videos, but those shits are loud as fuck. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you, you hear it now. Yeah. Like, yeah. even at right. the Chihuahuas, dog. I've heard dro- I've I've heard of the drones and it's loud as fuck at the stadium, you know. Yeah. I'm like, nah, I wasn't a fucking drone. Even man. a even a jet, dude. We saw where was it? I saw a jet recently. I think we we're driving to California. We we're passing Arizona. There was a jet. Uh, I don't know. They have a base somewhere in the desert out there. Well, it's probably twenty nine palms. Yeah, but there was a jet and the like the jet stopped and then it like it lowers down like because they can fly fly down. But even then, you can hear it. Yeah, like, you can yeah. hear the engines and the turbines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, dog, to not from, hear something from close and from how close we were, like, there's no way we would would have not heard it. You know, and then like kind of thinking about it, that was like over ten years ago. You know, and you know, fucking drones, you could hear them now and shit. Right. I'm sure back then they'd be a lot louder. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and and dude, like, Rick was literally scared for his life, bro. Like, I could see and hear the fear in him, bro. Like, he wanted to get inside Chu's house and get the fuck away from that thing. <laughs> so, what when it got fuck? down to these trees, how long was it there? It was there, like, three three footsteps. I took three steps, and then it was gone. Wow. Oh, the lights, when you saw it coming towards you, were they, like, pretty bright? They were bright, like, dog, bright. Like, could, fucking yeah, helicopter like searching helicopter, for fucking... Like plane, yeah. Yeah? Cause once I saw, once I saw that it was coming towards me, I'm, I that's where I thought it's like it's a plane, or because it looked that it was bright, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what's even weirder, that it was at the church. That it was stationed at the church, dude. Hmm. That's where it stopped. So you're trying to say like aliens and religion? Is it? I don't know, man. Maybe that church <laughs> is hiding something. Is it still open? Yeah. 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 No, no, just maybe it's just a coincidence. Oh. But <laughs> yeah, isn't that fucking weird? Like, it, did you feel like it was looking at you guys? I, I honestly feel like now, like now, when I think about it, I feel like when I started walking towards it, they're like, "Oh shit, they saw." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <You know>? yeah. <laughs> like, bitch, I, you didn't turn off the light. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if it was know? like aliens in training? You know, like, yeah, like, they like, fucked the first up. time on Earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like driver's ed for like aliens. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's some kid doing his thing. Yeah, and then like the, uh, right there. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just park right there in that building. That's a church behind those trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parallel park. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. I like the sound. They can't see us, right? <laughs> cloaking activated. Uh, uh, which one's cloaking again? You didn't turn on the fucking cloaking. Right. Oh fuck! Let's go. Let's go. Let's he go. He sees us. Abort! 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 <laughs> it's yeah, funny. Dog. And, and then, just shot up. Yeah, shot straight up, dude. Like, and dude, to to be out to look like a star in that short amount of time. Like, so how fast was it like dude like no more than three seconds like just 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 gone and it wasn't even like like it was just yeah you know like <laughs> smooth and the way and also what got my attention was the way well, the way it was flying that's what got that what, that's what got my attention too you know and that's when i was just like dude what the fuck is that man it like was it was flying weird it was like, just like the, like defying gravity yeah bro like Straight it was up, just, just defying gravity it has its own fucking gravity yeah dog that's crazy that's crazy have you seen like the i guess the kind of recent videos of like 
jet fighters and shit like flying in the sky and then they see like a tic tac type of thing like yeah, i've seen a bunch of those videos <laughs> okay <laughs> all right did that movement kind of resemble yeah. no that 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 that's too fast like those tic tac videos because yeah. in those videos they're showing how how fast and like precise their flight patterns are well maybe it's because like they have the instruments you know what i'm saying like maybe if they were to lock onto your ufo like that's what it would oh, look yeah. like yeah, you know true. what i'm saying yeah. what's the new name for the you they don't call them ufos now what do they call them now uaps uaps yeah unidentified unidentified aerial phenomena wow did, did, weird did you guys watch the debate no who um, trump and oh no it, it wasn't in the debate it wasn't another it was in a podcast so Trump was on uh, Logan Paul's podcast like a couple of weeks ago and they asked him about aliens mm-hmm. and he, he said, he said he didn't, that he didn't buy into it there that he didn't No, He said that he believed that they're real, but that it's like nothing that he to worry about, to worry about. Like he doesn't, but I doesn't thought, concern him. what do you mean? Yeah. Let me look, let me look, look at the clip. Okay. So in the meantime, and then I I also always think, dog, what would have happened if I wouldn't have said shit? Mm. Like if I would have just let it keep going, dude, it would have probably and, picked and, you guys up. And, and for all we guys. know, bro, it, it it took us. It might, yeah, you know, it might have, and that's what I remember. Uh huh. Whoa. So do you think like, you kind of like the fourth kind? Yeah. Of the shit? That movie was scary as fuck. It was. It was, dog. I went home driving like. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't seen the fourth kind, mm-hmm. dude. That's a watch good it, one. bro. It's a print uh, based on a true story. I don't think is it. Yeah, yeah they show real footage, yeah, events, everything, that's, bro. That's I what thought they it say. Was fake though. No. Yeah, like I thought they, they have came act- out and said that it was fake. They have, yeah. Who knows? Though? They have actors like like reenacting those the videos. Like, yeah, videos. yeah, 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 yeah. But but are, but at the facts they they gave about that part of Alaska are real though. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because they said like there's they a bunch the of most government like vehicles that, going and that town, right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, well, okay. I so have, I have the clip. Okay. Okay, so I can. Tom Cruise, but taller. Okay, handsome, perfect people. Sir, there was something there that was. Oh, can we watch it, dog? <laughs> well, I'm trying to get <laughs> it to her. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I met with pilots like beautiful Tom Cruise, but taller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Handsome, perfect people. Sir, there was something there that was round in form and going like oh, four times faster than my <laughs> super jet fighter plane. And I look at these guys and they really mean it. Yeah. And am I a believer? No, I probably, I, I can't say I am. But I have met with people that are serious people that say there's some really strange things that they see flying around out there. And, you know, if you go to Nevada and you look at that little section of, of uh, where, where they go to look at uh, the aliens, where they think all the aliens are landing, that, you know, it's one of, I think it's a, maybe the number one tourist attraction in the United Ros- States. Roswell? Yeah. Yeah. Roswell. That's New Mexico. Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. But yeah, it's pretty much. But that, bro, but. wasn't he like? He's talking about Area Fifty One, if anything. Yeah, yeah, I think he was talking right? about Area Fifty One. Yeah. But w- wasn't he like the president, like of the of the U.S. during that time, whenever they were finding out of all these cases and shit? Like, uh, like why would he say that he's not a believer if the fucker's the president of the U.S.? You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe he's just trying not to divulge yeah. i mean he's on the fucking logan park podcast yeah. you know what i'm saying like he's not that's not where he's gonna fucking reveal the news you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying yeah but i don't know dog it's 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 weird man like <clears throat> so if aliens were fucking real like where the fuck are they you know what i'm saying other planets the man. milky way they're at other planets yeah it would have to be yeah they're, they're living right. within us <laughs> Uranus in Uranus, <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> there, have, there has to be something out there dog. I would be more shocked if there was nothing out there than finding finally finding out there was something out there yeah 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 you know? yeah I agree but you don't think 
there's some sort of fuckery going on. Like, fuckery? Yeah, like with the, the U.S. government. Yes, of course. What do you mean? For sure. Like they're hiding something Fuck from yeah. Them? Oh, yeah. Or maybe it's them. Like men in black shit? <clears throat> no. <laughs> He's like, well, you guys didn't. It's real. You guys didn't see that this year. We talked about it in like one of the first episodes of the podcast. There was an <clears throat> there was an incident in Miami this year. Oh yeah, at that mall or whatever. Yeah, at a mall where there was like an overwhelmingly like every cop in Miami showed up to the mall for this because there was alien sightings and um they ended up saying the next day that it was just like teenagers fighting like a brawl. But when you look at the pictures of all the police responses that were there, like, like literally every fucking cop in Miami in that area showed up and they, they all contained the area. And they're even saying there were reports after there was like TikTok videos and stuff. People saying that they had to sign NDAs and they had to like get rid of, they were taking their phones and stuff like that. That's crazy. They were trying to, huh. and you can, there was one video that you can see like a shadowy figure walking around it's like from like a helicopter view and that's like the only video and you can just see that i gotta check that out one day but everybody was saying that it was well the media the next day were saying that it was fights and then just after fights. that they just hush hush everything and just that's crazy but white yeah it was just really bizarre stuff yeah yeah just today i was watching some i fuck i didn't get to watch it well because i was at work so i didn't get to feel like finish it but they're saying that antarctica is just like Kind of like an alien base. I could believe that. Well, if you think if if you're going to be an alien species and if you're going to have a base anywhere, like go to a place where Nobody humans could. are gonna, not going to exactly. be able to live. <clears throat> they probably have technology and stuff to like survive and go to like extreme areas of the world. Yeah. So what are they, what are they doing down there? I don't know. Secret society. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, so why don't they fucking... Research? Maybe they're gathering resources from our planet, stuff that they don't have on their shit, or yeah, just an article. I, I think they're just like checking up on us. See how yeah, we're doing. Really? Uh, yeah. They gotta check up on their masterpieces of all the pyramids. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. dog. World. Yeah. That's exactly what I think, bro. Like, just like how the pyramids is here. Yeah. Aliens. Yeah. So we're just an experiment. Yes. It's like exactly. We're just a like a big ant farm to them yes bro damn yeah. imagine i'd be fucking pissed <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking working on this <laughs> For real, dog. you know like motherfuckers <laughs> making us fucking work you know, that day but, they were gonna pull you out of the ant farm dude I and know, then you and looked I at it. it i know you <laughs> fucked it up <laughs> yeah they're Get like out of here. they're like there's specimen jerry let's <laughs> gather him bring him to our planet <laughs> 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 All right, so there's I this here's what I think. <clears throat> I think there's some fucking deep secret part of the CIA. I'm talking deep where hardly anyone, like maybe a handful of people know about it. 10, 15, who knows? I don't fucking know. But it's so segregated, that's so self-contained that no one knows about it. And these fuckers have they know what's up and i think they know that it's all just fucking human technology that's super advanced and they're just testing it out that's what i think so like time travel you think aliens are humans from the future no i just think it's not it's us i think it's us oh so you don't think there's aliens no you think it's just like super secret advanced tech. advanced tech. and would you think that other countries are involved or is it just like the united states i think i think they're trying to get their own shit going who like other countries like russia russia china whatever china because <laughs> <clears throat> there's you know an easy way for the government to you know sidetrack all these shits is just to source it out to someone a third party contractor. You know what I'm saying? It's not us. So fucking it's them. It's they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? CIA can do this very easily. Just get a group it's of people hard get hard a, for me to believe that. Get a group of fucking nerds and this is this is their shit. Maybe there was one 
spacecraft that crashed a long fucking time ago, and that's the one that they're using. To, like, build their technology off of. Correct. Okay, but, all right, what about all these pyramids and shit? You know what I'm saying? From before Christ, dog. In the fucking DAA or whatever you said back in the day. BC? BC? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Aliens? Yes, bro. Yes. Maybe not aliens, dog. Maybe there's just a suit. Like, there's just they're just smart, you know? Maybe human beings are just smart as fuck back then, and we don't give them credit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. We didn't have internet, movies, so <laughs> we couldn't be that smart. I don't know. <laughs> you know, no, but they, I, were, they were able to track the stars. They figured that shit out. Well, they made, you know, well they, first of all, they didn't have that much fucking light as there is now. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have what? So much light. Like in the in cities or towns and shit. True. As now, you know, like if you're in the middle of nowhere, bro, stargazing is amazing, you know. And for them just to fucking see that shit every day, it's crazy. And there's this computer that they made. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. But there's a an old Mac. Thing. No, like the first computer, <laughs> the first computer that they ever found, they ever, they ever discovered from like fucking thousands of years ago. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Yeah, in Egypt or where? I don't know where. Somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Like uh, I don't know, dog. It's hard to like aliens. I like, think they're real, dog. I think they're real. And mm-hmm. like, so what, what? What? Like, what's what's the purpose? What are they doing? Like, why aren't they fucking fucking around? Like, hey, you know, we're here. Why? Why all the secrecy? Why? Like, oh shit. Because I don't think because they know how fucked up humans are and how right away we'll try to start shit with somebody or. Or try to rip them off or somehow. What? <laughs> Dude, rip them off? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be like, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a fancy spaceship you got there. <laughs> we'll give you uh, three bucks for it. We'll <laughs> give you a Tesla truck for it. <laughs> yeah. So I would probably say, like, they, they don't think we can handle it. Nah. I don't think we can, bro. If, so what but would why ha- would they care? What would happen if tomorrow you wake up and then... You know, aliens out. Aliens come out of the closet. And Doomsday. Everybody knows. Everybody starts panicking, bro. Mm-hmm. But toilet paper. Toilet paper. Right away. Toilet paper. But why would they give a shit about what we think? They're, you know what I'm saying? Because they're probably smarter than us. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're smarter than yeah. us. Yeah, but. Like, they're, they're advanced, I guess, mentality or smartness. Like, knows, like, nah, these guys will, will fuck. They'll fuck up whatever we we throw their way but you know what like they know how we are i think aliens if we found out aliens existed tomorrow that would unite the world because all of a sudden everybody is like all Fuck right these guys we're like okay there's there's something out there and we gotta fucking get our shit together we can't waste time fighting each other because then we gotta fight this thing independence day independence that. day yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah where's will smith yeah oh shit it was yesterday yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I okay. I I don't know, bro. I there's aliens. Okay, so you're, so, so you're saying it's man-made? What I saw. Yeah, I think so. I I honestly think I want to think that it's man-made, but everything I saw tells me it's, it was not, bro. Okay. I, I don't get how you, or understand how you said it. The color of it was like the color of the sky. Yeah, like I couldn't see, I couldn't see it. I could just see the sky, the color of the sky, and just the lights, like on the corner of it, like it was cloaking, it, like it was. It, it was you kind of just saw like the outline of it. of it. Yeah, I could only see the outline of it, and just by, and just I could only see the outline of it because I could see the lights, like very dim, dog, like barely, barely. Like if you need glasses, you probably wouldn't have seen that shit. Hmm. Damn. So what you shape have was it? Twenty twenty vision, right? <laughs> it was like if you had to like a trapezoid kind of <coughs> trapezoid which one's that one yeah. i feel like the way you described the i failed geometry the outline of it was just like a typical like drawing like yeah. uh or cartoon like from the jetsons dude mm-hmm. you know it's like yeah, yeah it's like a little fucking bubble could, and yeah, shit. yeah 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 like that yeah but like and, bigger yeah but big like the size from the wall to wall hmm that's crazy. Have you guys heard of Bob Lazar? Fuck yeah. Yep. No. No? no? That's some crazy mm-hmm. shit. Dude. No. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. All right. So this dude, Bob, Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar. Lazar. Okay. Lazar. 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 L a z a a r. Lazar. Some shit. Yeah. Bob Lazar. Some shit like that. Okay. All right. So he was on the Joe Rogan podcast. So if you get a chance, watch it because it's fucking dope. But here, real quick, he so he worked for Area Fifty One when he was young, like in his twenties. But it wasn't called that. It's called like Section Nine or some shit like that. Yeah, like a part of Area Fifty One, like separated. Mm-hmm. And he was brought on to the for this project, right? Very secretive. He couldn't talk to anybody. He couldn't talk to his wife about it. Like nothing. And what he was supposed to work on was the propulsion system for whatever the fuck that they were working on. All right. So he was brought in and they brought him into this place and he had to work with this fucking, what would, what do you say? Like a, 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 a basketball on like a, a plate, mm-hmm. like half a basketball on a plate. That's what it looked like. Right. And this was the thing that he had to work on. Everything else, keeping his secret, he had no idea what the fuck was going on. Right. It turns out that this device, whatever the fuck it was, it was producing its own gravity, its own gravitational field, anti-gravity, if anything. Because if you would try to put your hand towards it, it would fucking, you couldn't. Yeah. And he was like, what the fuck is this? That's all it was. Just a basketball on this plate thing, like metal, aluminum looking. Like, what? What? Like, did we make this? Like, where, where the fuck did this come from? Like, this is nothing like any technology that we have. And they told, I mean, eventually, after time, he found out, oh, this comes from, like, a spaceship that they discovered, that it crashed fucking, I don't know how long ago, a long time ago. And, you know, we're trying to research and fucking figure out how it works and shit. And that's what he did. And, like, two or three times, he actually saw the spaceship, right, whatever this was. And it says, like, like a flying saucer, basically. He got to go inside of it, and there was no, like... No buttons, no nothing. Yeah. It was just all smooth. Uh huh. All smooth, aluminum, like grayish color, nothing. And then this thing goes in the middle and and that's when the fucking ship turns on and shit. And he saw it fly in, in the sky a couple of times. And he was like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is, this is aliens, right? Mm-hmm. So that's his story. Very fucking fascinating. And, and he eventually he like brought friends to like come look at the spaceship like come look when they would fly in the air and shit like come and that's how then the government ended up finding about him and they kicked him out and shit and he came out with his story and that's you know he's famous now well and like didn't they like get rid of his identity and shit too yeah right yeah like he they had no erased. name he had no name no more bro like no social like the u.s government's all like you're fucking talking about it right so we're just gonna fucking remove you. No shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. They just, erased all of his like past. Everything, like, bro. And how do you get it back? Fuck, I don't remember that. He bro. made like a Facebook one day. He's like, I'm back. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, what well, he took? He took Fuck all you, that shit public, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, he went to the news station. He's, I'm telling you guys all this now because they're erasing my identity. They're gonna come after me. So if something happens to me, now you guys know why. Yeah. Oh shit. And that was the way he protected himself. Yeah. So. Is it true? Who knows? Fuck you yeah, know? it's true. <laughs> but when you watch that podcast and you see him talking, like you're like, fuck, I believe this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe that what he saw was real. Was it real? I don't know. Because, again, they could have just lied to him and be like, oh, yeah, this is from an alien. When really they built it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. maybe it's just a test. Maybe it's saying, okay, if this crashed in Russia, would they be able to figure it out? You know? Mm-hmm. And so let's put our scientists to see if they could figure it out. Mm, you know, interesting. it could have they could have easily lied to him. Yeah, I don't know, dog. It's crazy, yeah. But that's his story. It's fascinating. But you know, it's to see who the fuck knows what they're doing. That's why I think Donald Trump knows some shit. He, I'm <laughs> pretty know? sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know that's why he's like, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And then even even the way like the way everyone thinks it flies like like that you know like the way it hovers mm-hmm. but now it goes like that and then like he said it was ridiculously fast bro like nothing he'd ever seen before and yeah you know, I'm ta- I'm bringing back the the jet fighters videos and shit right like if you think about it 
those videos of those Tic Tac looking fucking spaceships fly like this. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what he was explaining, right? Yep. Which is pretty fucking. Like, you know, you just connect the dots a little bit with all these stories, and it's like, oh, fuck. It's crazy, man. There's only one way to find out, man. <laughs> How? We got to build our own. We got to build our own. <laughs> A Town sponsor us. <laughs> We'll build a spaceship and let's do it. <laughs> Wood and nails and shit. <laughs> we'll get some aliens from Mexico <laughs> to help us out build it real yeah. quick. We're gonna fight fire with fire. <laughs> <laughs> aliens versus aliens. <laughs> Orale. Orale. Sí, señor. Toda madre. <laughs> Abuela, <laughs> un 30 pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And then you, we walk outside and they built it. Oh no, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mexican ingenuity, dude. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't die. Right, for real, dog. <laughs> Bien fácil. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hasta le puse otra cosa aquí, mire. <laughs> 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 they hang a little Virgin Mary on it. <laughs> oh, shit. The Virgin Mary is painted on the back. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. Oh, fuck. <sighs> so, yeah, dog. I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's weird, bro. Like, why haven't we discovered anything yet? You know, we have super badass telescopes that are fucking constantly looking out there. You know, we've never detected anything out there. So I'm saying we probably have, dude. It's just but I say, the government keeps it hush hush. I feel like especially nowadays, like <clears throat> with social media and everything, people putting everything on the line or whatever. Like somebody's looking at shit, your shit's gonna get taken down, reported or some shit. Yeah. Just like, man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, for sure. Do you think, like John, when Johnny said, if aliens were to come out tomorrow, then there would be no more religion? Oh, good question. And that, that's nah. I think people it, will still it eliminates be, it, bro. Easy. I, you know well, what I'm I, I think if anything, it for some people, I think it'll go both ways. For some people, it'll fortify it even more. Yeah. But, so you, technically, you're saying that aliens created created humans. Mm -hmm. I've mm. always thought that, bro. Do you think the same? So if they or, came out and said, yeah, if they show up and be like, "We are your creators." Mm. Oh. Yeah, dude, that would probably that would probably throw everything. Yeah, for sure, Christianity because Christianity is based off, you know, the creation, God, the creation, right? Genesis, Adam and Eve, and all that stuff. So but, it, it would debunk that. I would be like, this is fucking AI, bro. Like, I don't believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's holograms. <laughs> like, how would that even? I honestly feel like half the population would be like, nah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> this shit ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Like it wouldn't make the it would make the news, but it would be like, eh, it'll be like another fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Do you guys watch Rick and Morty? No. I've watched a few yeah, episodes. No. Yeah. yeah, I've seen a couple episodes. Oh, there's that uh the Swifty episode where aliens come to Earth and they basically are gonna destroy Earth unless they come up with like the most catchiest song ever. So Rick and Morty come up with the song. <laughs> and it's like the dumbest song ever, but it's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. They get shifty. Yeah, bro. It's weird. Yeah. It's fascinating. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a touchy subject, I guess. What? Dad, just aliens in general. I don't think so. I think aliens is... I don't think it's touchy. Well, not like touchy, touchy, like sensitive, but like it's just... Like controvert. Not yeah. Very controversial. Yeah. It's either you believe in them and you don't. It's kind of one of those. Like, do I think there's fucking tiny microorganisms somewhere on some fucking planet that's, like, surviving? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've discovered organisms, like, at the bottom of the, of the ocean, like, next to these, like, giant fucking vents that are just, like, pumping out, like, steam. Hot steam. Mm -hmm. And they've discovered organisms. You know what I mean? <clears throat> They're, like, surviving in, like, horrible conditions. Yeah. Like, why can't they, that exist somewhere else? Like, yeah. But like fucking aliens, like beep beep boo beep beep boom earth. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Aren't there in caves like paintings or carvings of like rocket ships? Yeah, or yeah just yeah, like yeah. 
There's like a few famous looking. paintings and and carvings of of rocket ships, supposedly, but it's like who like, you know, it could be anything. Hmm. It could be you know, just one person says, "Oh, that's an alien," and everyone else is, like, "Oh yeah, that's an alien." Like it could be fucking anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, bro. Just I don't know. Don't yeah. It's let us know. Let us know in the comments if you guys believe. If there, anybody has a cool alien story. Put it on there. Yeah. Maybe we'll read it on the next episode or something. Yeah. Um, so, Jerry, you got married recently, dude. I sure did, Johnny yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, huh? <laughs> I got Yo, a bone. That was a pick. badass way. I got a bone. That was a good time. Oh, yeah. That, that was a good time. time. <laughs> so, raise your hand if you're invited to the wedding. You, you. Yeah. Sure. 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 Show's sure. dope. Damn. <laughs> It was a good time. <laughs> okay. Dude, what happened? <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Where's boy. my invitation? Uh, dude, honestly, I thought I, I had asked for your address because I was going through my Instagram because that's where I was getting all these fools' address. Yeah. And I thought I got you, but <laughs> I have no excuse, man. I'm sorry. Nah, it's probably like, it's cool Johnny? Nah. I, was, I, was, I was busy that day either way. I had uh, like editing to do. and Yeah. But um, whatever, dude. I didn't hold a grudge. I've seen it on the past two episodes that you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for like the past couple of months, every time they'll be like Jerry, and I'll be like, "Fuck Jerry, dude!" Like I didn't invite me to his wedding. That's that was gonna be the title of this episode. Yeah, was, fuck Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> we mark it on the calendar. Yeah, we, yeah, we have a calendar. We put the podcast that today is fuck Jerry. Dude. Yeah, uh, oh, God, July fifth. <laughs> remember that. But in my defense, I was going through a little something at the time. Yeah, yeah. So. No, it's cool, man. I get it. Um, your wife, she reached out and she apologized. <laughs> so that was nice. That was nice. Of you. Um, but you can apologize now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Johnny, <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, doc. No. That's cool. Uh, so how's the married life, man? How is that? It's good. It's good, man. Yeah. It's going. Yeah. You like it? You guys don't ever get married. Stay single. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. How did you propose to her? I, uh, at the Chihuahua Stadium during a game. Cause that was our first date. Yeah. And uh, oh, funny story about our first date, dude. We we're, were walking to, towards the stadium, and I'm talking to Miranda, and I can tell like she's not really listening to me. You know, I'm just like, the fuck, do you don't, like, what are you looking at? She's like, those girls won't stop calling you. And I was like, what? And I turn around, and it's Lonnie and and Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie's like honking, like bah, bah. like I, I don't know how the hell I didn't hear her honking. Bro. <laughs> and then we start, we start like turn the lights to go up to the street, and I see a cop like. I uh, go pull over to the side, and she got a ticket for excessive honking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bro. I remember that. Yeah. That's oh God, you went that, that night. Up, Where? <laughs> to that game. Nah. Yes. Bro. I never been to a Chihuahuas in my life, dog. <laughs> no, I What's remember. What's a Chihuahua? <laughs> you know, I, I think that night we ended up going to Blackbird. Yeah. Right. You were there that day. Bro. I've been to Blackbird. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't even. No, I don't know. Oh, yes, bro. Maybe. Yeah, I pur- so I proposed the uh, at the Chihuahuas game, dog. And uh, did you put like the ring inside a hot dog or something? No, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I had it in my pocket, but little glizzy dude, proposal. I, Were you I nervous have, that day? I was fucking nervous, bro. I have never been to a game that because I was gonna propose in the seventh seventh inning stretch, mm-hmm. and I've never been to a game where it fucking went that fast, dog. And then, and then, so it got to the seventh inning. And and then, so the Chihuahuas got the three outs, and f- dude, I felt sick, bro. Like I felt <laughs> sick. And then even Miranda was like, "Are you okay? You don't look, you don't look, bro. you don't look good." I'm like, "No, yeah, I'm, I'm alright." And dude, like I was like, "Why, bro? Like ready, <laughs> ready to throw up, dude?" And then I just got down on one knee and I proposed. And then everyone, once she said yes, like all the people around were like, "Yeah, nice." I was like, yeah. "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. And you just throw up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, dog. Yeah. Where did you guys meet? Oh, yeah, dog. Um, so we met. We met years ago, bro. At, mm-hmm. at a at one of well, the girl I was dating at the time, <laughs> which they're cousins. It was a family party, so that's the first time I ever met her. Uh-huh. And then I didn't talk to her till like years later, bro. Just I DM'd her randomly one time. You slid in. And then we started. What was that DM like? You're like, hey, remember me? Your cousin, no. your, co- <laughs> your, your cousin's, cousin's boyfriend. Ex. <laughs> your cousin's ex. I just told her. I think it was like, oh, it was during Christmas. So I just told her like, Merry Christmas to you and your family and shit. And you close with your cousin. Hey, you know what? 
that's a good way to slide into a DM during a holiday. Because if they don't reply, then they're a fucking asshole. Yeah. Because you're just saying like, Merry Happy Christmas. Independence Day. Happy 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. fucking National Donut Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was during Christmas when I slid in the DMs. Nice. It's a good time. And how long have you guys been together now? Now, five years, going on six years. Damn, dude. Is that is that your longest relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Longest ever. Dude, she's his only girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't under the bus like that. Man. Go for oh, it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. We won't talk shit about Louis, you while you're gone. Louis, no, you gotta pee. man. You don't gotta pee? No. Wow. Oh, shit. That's what's up. Fuck yeah. All right. So, Louis. What's up, You've uh, found fame since your last episode dropped. You're famous now in A-Town? <laughs> I fucking guess, bro. <laughs> yeah? I appreciate it. <laughs> anybody Anybody reach out? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. No. no. Shit. Well, actually, I guess a few coworkers. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you're fucking famous now, blah, blah, blah. But that's pretty much it. That yeah. counts. It counts. It counts, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the... I'll wait, for, I'll wait for Jerry. I'll Talk about him. your painting. What inspired you? Oh, yeah, my painting. So, I don't what know if the it's fuck? in frame. I didn't even see that. It's camouflage, dog. It's camo paint. Where'd you do that? So, I made this painting. <laughs> so, we're going to do this. I did this when I was in third grade. <laughs> 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 Talk about a vision board. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. No, so I, I made it for the Neon Paint Party because Ali oh, had told me, like, okay, do you guys yeah, have, like, a sign or anything that we can put up? And I was like, nah, but I'll make one, you know? I'm a I'm a creative guy. So I went to Walmart, bought the canvas, bought some paint. That's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I did this shit the day of, and I did it like in... You know, you did years. a pretty fucking good job. Thank you, Louie. Thank you. I, I you know, have, have you seen like... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I guess like a local thing, like they do like paint, paint and wine or whatever, or drink and shit. Yeah, yeah. I thought you did that there, bro. Like sure. I, I thought somebody was showing you how to fucking paint your thing. This but. was me, dog. This was all me. Um, hey, you took art class in, in high did. school, right? Yeah, I was a lot better back then. <laughs> me too. I mean, it's an elective. You were on that same class or what? Nah, but I was with like Lonnie and Pat. Well, Lonnie was in that I class. I was with right? Lonnie, yeah. So my, my art I class. Probably left already, but yeah, you, you were gone. I had... um. Who was in my class? So like Lonnie was in there, Ernie was in there, uh, George Luhan was in there. Georgie. <laughs> Georgie. Shout out Georgie. Uh, I'm trying to think of other people. There there was a few other like upperclassmen. I was probably like, one of the younger ones. But yeah, I took art pretty much all of high school. I stayed in it because I, I liked yeah, it. Didn't you, I don't know, maybe you were in that class. I don't remember you, sure. Doc. Sure yeah, I don't remember you either. Like you used to an X-ray. Right. <laughs> I, this is how... I'll help you answer this. I do remember your guys' face paintings, bro, in the hallway. I still have mine. It's in Um, my room. I remember Lonnie's and I remember yours. Should I bring it out? Bring it out, man. Yeah. Did Did you paint that? Did you paint your own face? No, not that I can remember. So I guess you're already gone then. Was that senior year or what? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because when I was a senior, I think this this fool was a freshman. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I remember like uh, knitting the quilt. Oh, with Miss Lada. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that was an art, but I remember that. Yeah, I did that too. That was cool. That was cool, man. I had a good time in that class. Miss Lada. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Lara, it? Bro. Like Isn't it something else? She got married, no? She's probably divorced or I don't know. No, oh, she was cool. Miss Baca. Damn. Oh, wasn't it? That's what she changed her last name right. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was Lada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty okay. good, huh? I'm gonna do the the <clears throat> unveiling of Let's the paint. See it, dog. My dad framed it. Fuck yeah, because it's beautiful art, man. So, but it's all <laughs> dusty because I have it in my. Oh, look at little Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> that's pretty. Oh, that's yeah, weird. bro. Okay. That's you look crazy. like a uh, a kid from Mexico, dude. Yeah, it's all hella dusty. <laughs> it looks but good. Yeah, but we made it. This is we did this with. Um, 
Poutine? With paint. No, it oh. wasn't paint. It's, uh, I forgot what, they're like pastels. Cra- they're pastels, yeah. Pastels. Yeah. Crayon. Pretty much, like adult <laughs> crayons, like professional crayons. Yeah, because you could like smear a little bit too. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's exactly how you look back then. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. For real, huh? yeah. yeah. Hey, so so were you, whenever we were seniors, were you a sophomore or a freshman? When you were a senior, I was a sophomore. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, my senior year, we built. Well, because I had Poteet, like, freshman, sophomore year. So, I was with Poteet, right? Um, I had Poteet, too. And then, and then after that, uh, Mr. Alba took oh, over once Poteet. So, shout yeah. out Mr. Alba. Sorry, no. And that was, like, his first year. So, he was really cool. We did a lot of cool things with him. Poteet we, was cool there. We did, we did a, a medals project for one of our... We had to build a sculpture out of medals. So like out of recycled metal. So oh, okay. he taught us how to like solder and weld. And oh, that's cool. He took his equipment. He did most of it for us, but we did some of it. Um, and me and Louis, Louis Blancas, he was in my grade. We built uh, like a Spartan statue, like a soldier. Like it was probably like eight feet tall. Damn. Um, we just did it out of like recycled. They had it in the hall. I don't know if it's still in the high school. It was there for like ever. They had it in the hallway. Oh, shit. So we made it out of like aluminum and chicken wire and just random shit that we found in the desert. We went to the desert by La Latuna. No shit. We're just by walking. La Latuna? La La, 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 la Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> and just found a bunch and of And we crap. were just like looking for scraps and we found like a bunch of sheets of aluminum and then we made the helmet all that. We molded it. Like, and yeah, dude, it was pretty badass. Oh, cool. shit. How we long were, did it take? A couple weeks. Oh, and then we put a light bulb inside of the head. So it would like its lights would glow, his eyes would glow. Right? Nice, nice. Should have fucking taken a MoMA, dog. Yeah, sounds, it was sounds badass. Like some MoMA shit. So the body, we we made like the the skeleton out of chicken wire that Mr. V gave us. He gave us chicken wire, and we use that, and then we put the the plates of like armor on top of it. So that's cool. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mr. V. that's dope, dog. And then we made like a spear and a shield. You're all into it. Yeah. I was, dude, I was big into art. Like, I liked, I was always very creative and all that shit. What happened, dog? <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yeah, you compared that to that. <laughs> Come on, dog. Same colors and everything, too. Yeah, huh? Yeah. So, I fucked up initially the lettering. So I, just I forgot how to spell A. I have only like, A town? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, that's why I painted over it, and I'm like, I'm just going to fucking paint whatever. Yeah, yeah. But art is all subjective, dog. It's just... Yeah, yeah. You, I th- I think it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> he think it looks cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, it's like, kidding, dog. like MoMA, a white fucking T-shirt. Yeah, dog. It's considered art. That's what they had. On yeah, there? a white, it's a plain crap. white tee, dog. Badass. <laughs> but then they had some crazy ass like um, projector, fucking thing. Well, that the, that was some crazy oh, this, ass shit. Yeah, too. no, but, that was crazy. But uh, you guys went to MoMA? Yeah, yeah all we of you. To MoMA. Damn, yeah. never been there. You haven't been there? Nah, we should go. Nah, just kidding. Nah. We don't have time. Yeah, yeah we don't. Yeah. I left early. Oh, oh we'll yeah, you to go watch fucking Avatar. <laughs> 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 yeah. Dog, wasn't that shit like three hours, though? Like, so... Yeah. Could have waited. <laughs> nah, dude. No, it's the, we. it's because... So, museums are cool, but then, like, you can't be at a museum for, like, two, three hours, dog. Yes, you can. Depends on the, mu- the museum. I don't know. Me I was at personally, the Louvre for like the three hours, bro. It was boring as fuck. Which yeah. one? Yeah, <laughs> the, <Louvre>. the Louvre. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Louvre. I've been there. Yeah. Uh, you didn't go with this guy though. No, no, no. no. Oh. Like an, an hour, <laughs> an, hour an hour and a half. It depends hour. again. Tops. Yeah, like bro. the history museum, bro. You were there like thirty minutes, Johnny. <laughs> well, it's because okay, we're <laughs> we're gonna be late for the show. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> like the Natural History Museum, that one's badass. I love Actually, that. yeah, the the one in New York, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one was pretty cool. I, I love that. That one was cool. I love that shit. Because they have like dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's fucking badass. Dinosaurs are cool. Yeah, fuck yeah. But art, I could see that. I could see an hour. Let's get the fuck out of here. The coolest thing that I liked at the museum is when we went to, they had the exhibit for the Pinocchio. The oh, Benicio del Toro there. movie. Yes, mm. bro. They had all the stop motion. They had the actual sets there. Nice. And that the little figures. Cool. And yeah. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, Pretty how cool. big were they like that? Yeah, like that big. Yeah. And I'm all recording there, and then there's like, you can't be recording in here. I'm like, the fuck, why not? Movie's out on Netflix. It's like, going to be, yeah, it's yeah, in a movie. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Looks way better than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was cool. That in that wall at the beginning, that's like shape shifting. Oh, yeah, man. That was crazy. It's like a really high definition screen or what is it? Bro, that wall was like 20 feet tall. Right? Yeah. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. It was like 20 by like It's 15. not that tall, dog. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, you're Louis. If you're Louis. Yeah, all right, right. Louis, Louis, it's like, whoa. <laughs> 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 no, but it, it was crazy, bro. Like just all the, I don't, I don't know. How would you explain it? It looks like, like a, like picture like a lava lamp. I don't care, dog. But on the wall. <laughs> He's jealous he wasn't there. He, he is. <laughs> that, that would be cool, like, if you're high. Like, staring at that if you're high. Or on shrooms. Or on shrooms or, on or, shrooms or yeah. something. Like, you'd probably be there, like, for a full three hours. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, what happened? Well, the, I'm exactly sure there are the people that were watching that were on some shit. Cause, yeah. You know, we are passing by and we're like, oh, like, a couple minutes. But people were just like. Oh. Was yeah. it, is it free? Yeah, it was. No. Was it free? Fuck. I don't remember. I don't remember. No, we yeah. paid, but it wasn't expensive. Like twenty bucks or something. Yeah, it's not bad. But it was cool. Yeah. It's cool experience. It was a good experience. We can say we've been there. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to go, but it's not like a priority. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. yeah. Why if did we end up going there? I think we was like a last minute, wasn't it? Or was it like a plan? It was just to say that we went. Really, I guess MoMA. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to MoMA. I'm going to MoMA. Yeah. Look at me. I'm artistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you guys do uh, Broadway? Yeah. We yeah, did. Man, the we Lion did, King. We did the Lion nice. King Broadway show. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. I, I cried. I cried? I cried. I cried. It was good, man. Dude, it's, it's fucking good. It's good. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but it's fucking good. It's good. Yeah. But, you know, you've seen the movie. Like. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know? It's the beginning of it, like, Right. When, once it starts, bro. Yes, yeah. bro. <laughs> see like all the animals come down and it's just like, And they're fucking oh. cool hall with the things so, like Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, badass. They wasn't there a they added songs to it too, huh? There were a couple of songs that were I don't remember, not man. from the movie. I remember that there was something I was like, hey, this isn't part of the movie. I don't know. I What's thought it was pretty like nearly spot on in yeah, the no, too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that shit's like fucking three hours long, isn't it? Like yeah, it's fucking long as fuck. The Broadway show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's so they can movie in both person. They, do they take a, a break to right? intermission. Yeah, yeah. but they like, gotta add shit. You know. Yeah, they did. There was some new stuff, but uh, like everything else is still covered. It's pretty yeah. Bad. Yeah, dude, and those seats suck. Yeah. Yeah. Comfy as fuck. Yeah. It's like the fucking auditorium here, dog. Mm-hmm. They suck. Your ass is hurting within the first thirty minutes. Sense? It's not like Cinemark, yeah. dude, where you get the like, recliners and. Yeah, Cinemark has some better it's seats. Badass, sure. Yeah, and it's New York, so everything's just, like small. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything's small, fucking small in New York. Yeah. It sucks. Like you get used to it, but at first you're like, "Fuck!" The bathroom's small, the bedroom's small, everything's small. But Broadway's cool. I I'd, I would I would go again to see a Broadway to show. Broadway. Yeah, any show. I think any show would be cool. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if I had mm. more time to mm-hmm. spend. Yeah. And 300 bucks. <laughs> $300 for a damn ticket. <laughs> yeah. How much they were? They were about... 300 bucks? Yeah. yeah. Each ticket? Yeah. It's oh, about God. like 200 bucks, bro. It, it actually depends on... The day. The day and the the, the show. show. Like, Lion King's like top notch. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So it's like 220 average. But if you were to, I don't know, see Michael Jackson or something. Broadway, like 150. Dog, he's dead. The Broadway show. It's died. Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But. Is that? <laughs> Jamal. Yeah. Yes. Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I love little Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's from, Jay? Yes, Longest Yard. Nice. I've never seen it. I've never seen yeah. it. And then fucking Raleigh brought it up, and I was like, what? <laughs> Show it to me, dog. Man, me and Johnny brought it up at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. At the gym. You weren't there. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite movie, Jerry? That's a tough one, man. I'll probably have to go Sandlot, though. Sandlot? I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. I, I watch that every single day. Did you watch it yesterday? Fuck yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, huh? You have to, man. Yeah. Or the July scene. Yeah. Oh, that's, 
Yeah, hey, what was your experience like uh, playing college baseball? Um, dude, getting there, it was at first it was I wouldn't say a shock, but I mean, dog, like here, like I could any team we played, I could gun out any dude at second, dog. This you guy. know, especially this slow ass guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then when I got there, bro, like you could see the talent, bro, like that, bro. You know, like. The first guy that stole stole me stole. I didn't even have a chance, bro. And then you just like fuck, like you need to step your shit up, you know. And then the tryouts, uh, it kind of sucked, bro, because I didn't have. I mean, these kids are rich white boys, bro. Mm-hmm. Like the, the catchers had their their practice gear, and then their game gear, and then they had their batting practice bat, and then their game bat. And I showed up and I like when that was my turn, I had to tell the coach like, yeah, I don't have any equipment. Do you have s- some extra one? He's like, yeah, yeah, go get the school stuff. And at the time, my brother was a was coaching baseball what? somewhere. Sorry, what school? It was Wayland Baptist University oh, in okay. Plainview, Texas. Yeah. It's an it was NAIA. It wasn't like nothing big, mm-hmm. but even like I can imagine Division One. You know, like I this was NAIA ball, and I can only imagine the talent like a Division One. You know. So I had like he he gave me that glove. It was like a shitty catcher's glove, bro. The first pitch of the first guy that I caught, fucking busted through it, bro. I was like, fuck. And then so luckily some guy that was next to me was like, here man, I got an extra one. And then I, I showed out after that, dog. I had to, you know, I didn't have no shit. Mm-hmm. And after that, I, I was on my game, dog. But uh, it was an experience, man. It was it was awesome. It's the first time I ever started drinking with, with my baseball buddies over there. It was a pretty cool experience, man. How long uh, How long were you playing for? Just a year. Just a year? Just, just a one year. Why just the one year? I had to come back. Oh. I don't want to say why. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> it's a stu- completely stupid reason. But, like, I, I re- that's one of my biggest regrets. I was coming back just after that one year. Because it was fun, man. It was it was great experience you wouldn't have thought to like trying to walk on for msu yeah, or something I, I wanted to but then i just started fucking around partying is that I techno was that techno music does you, techno. Techno. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even listen to techno nah, back in the day right back to it was electro back then <laughs> <laughs> dubstep <laughs> the, oh yeah i forgot about dubstep bro it was during that time huh yeah yeah that's funny yeah, but I just, I, I was planning to, dog, but, I mean, I didn't have no gear. I really, I mean, to, to go to a trial like that, dog, you need to be throwing every day, hitting every day, catching every day. Like, it, that's a sport where if you take a month off, bro, it's, it takes a lot to get that month back, you know? And, dude, like, the guys I was catching for there, that guy that broke my mitt, the coach told me he's all, He's on a rehab assignment, so he's not gonna be throwing that hard. <laughs> he busts my glove, dog. Shit. He's like, fuck, man. So you know, how would it be at NMSU or, or some of the D ones? Yeah. So I, I think that too kind of intimidated you. Intimidated? I, I, yeah, I would have to. I guess intimidate me. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't know. I haven't played all summer, and I'm gonna go try and walk on. Like, nah. Like, yeah. No way. Oh, you were just trying to walk on, not even. Scholarship, you make the team or obviously, right? No, I'm saying like when I came back from. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, do you think if you would have stuck with it, you could have gone further? Like, nah, I think, I think it would have just been those, um, just those four years at that school. Mm -hmm. My mom always used to tell me like, I know if you would have stuck through it, um, you would have gone pro this and that, and and I know, maybe if 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 baseball would have been my only sport. Like, from when I started getting good at it, you know? Because, mm-hmm. like, these kids, they play year-round, dog. You mm-hmm. know, like, the kids, the, the dudes that I played with over there, they never played football, track, basketball, you know? They played baseball all, all this time. And uh, I remember one time, I think it was at before before we went to Wayland, because I went with Ruben. I don't know if you guys, oh, you guys know Ruben Aguirre. I don't know if you know him. Ruben I Aguirre. I don't think so. So before we went to try out at Wayland, there was, like... We had like a tryout or, or on some scouts, you know. We went, it was, I think, in Eastwood or um, I think America's High School, one of those schools, dog. And uh, so we did the tryout and everything, and I fucking sucked that day, dude. I, except my hitting, other than my hitting, I fucking sucked. Like my throws to second sucked. I, was, I, I don't know why I wasn't doing that good. And then 
his dad, Ruben's dad, reached out to that scout to ask about it, you know, and they're like, nah, they don't have the stuff. Which, I mean, those, dude, those scouts know. Mm-hmm. They know from the moment you throw the ball. They know from the moment you hit the ball. They know from your speed. They, they, they know. You yeah. Know? So I'd always tell my mom, like, you know, even I would have continued playing, I wouldn't have made it to pro ball. You know, so that's just being realistic. Yeah. Know? But it still would have been fun, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, it would have been. Yeah. I fucking regret it, bro. Those would have been the funniest years ever, dog, if I would have stayed over there. Yeah. I have no doubt about it. And I would have a fucking degree. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> shit. Hey, bro, school's overrated, all right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, but we had some fucking good times together. We sure did. So. At what? <laughs> Fucking partying. Oh, and party. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she got your Because of you, she could have gone pro. <laughs> yeah, damn, we fucking party, boy. <laughs> but yeah, but there, was, you know what? It was humbling, dog, going, playing out, you know, outside of, outside of the, outside of the place you live in. Mm-hmm. And fuck our small ass school, dog. You know, we don't see, we don't play against talent that other other people play. You know. Yeah, mm-hmm. like dude, in in our when we would play summer baseball, these fucking five A schools were putting football scores on us, dog. 30 <laughs> zero, twenty five yeah. zero. Remember we played Socorro? Yeah, God, that they won state, us, dude. That, that team want, won state. That team won state, and they well, kicked our fucking ass, bro. Like they well, Ramiro they, made us run foul poles after the game because how bad they kicked our ass. <laughs> Remember we put like their JV team like the second or third inning, bro. Yeah, it was Shit. bad. Well, that's, that's what we're about. talking about on the episode with Eric. Um, you know, they were saying how now the Anthony, they're playing schools within their actual division, like uh-huh. their size. And these kids are fucking winning championships and all kinds of stuff. And they're getting the recognition. And now they have that. They have personal, the, what is it called? Athletic trainers now on the team. Like back when we were there, we didn't have shit. Fuck no. Like athletic trainer was like a water boy. <laughs> like that's that's as close as thing it was. Mark, Coach, Coach Mark. Mark. Yeah, that was it, really. Dude, the coaches taped us up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it it kind of it sucks, man. Because maybe if if the school then had the funding, had the you know the 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 facilities for it and all that stuff, you, maybe you could have yeah. gone somewhere, man. Yeah, but it didn't help that most of us or all of us were multi-sport athletes you know yeah, it's bro. like there's no time off from football to fucking basketball from basketball to baseball, baseball or track or both you know at that time bro, I, I remember going to a baseball game and one of the parents had to drive us like you know because we i played baseball and ran track right so and we're going going to a baseball game and one of the parents drove like five of us track guys to a track meet and as soon as we got to the track meet, we had to go around the 4x4 four four or something, you know? And it's, yeah, bro, it, it's not like these bigger schools and shit, how Jerry said, where these guys play year-round, mm-hmm. you know? Like, we play football, and towards the end of fucking football season, we'd be prepping for basketball and shit. And then fucking baseball and track and two-a-days and shit, like. And fucking was, Anthony, dog. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, fucking it was, Anthony. It was kind of weird too, dog, because it's, <laughs> it's like a Baptist college, you know. So every Wednesday we had to go to service, like, like kind of like church, bro. Yeah. And you have your ID, so they scan that shit, so you can't miss. You know, you get like three misses, dog. And I use that sh- those shits up like that. So I, <laughs> so, like, First week, yeah. like fuck. <laughs> and then and it's just like white people, dog. White people. That that's all there was there. Like, me and Ruben were the only Mexicans on that team. <laughs> and so I'm getting them just like, oh, man, these guys are going to be fucking dicks, bro. You know, we're not going to get along. We're going to be fucking beefing. Fuck no, dude. They're the nicest people I've ever met in my life, man. Oh, yeah. They're fucking cool. That's cool. It was an Fuck experience, it. man. It was a great experience. So after, after you did that, you came back home. Mm-hmm. What did you do after that? I tried going to school again, but... I fucked around too much again. Yeah. The partying. Fucking Louis, dude. <laughs> <That was weird. laughs> you look, you look, you look right at you, dog. Don't cover Get, up. Dog. Kept partying again. Yeah, just <laughs> fucked around and I just never finished school. Just started working. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Man. And is so, going back to school something you want to do? I, I would, dog. I really would want to go back. I, I would really love to coach either baseball or basketball, dog. But you suck at basketball, though, dude. I could coach it, though. Yeah. 
So, but baseball is like your favorite yeah, sport. Baseball, it's, it's baseball, that's your shit. Sport, yeah. That's cool, man. What do you like about it, dog? The balls. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bats. Sticks. You like catching <laughs> the ball in his hand. Is what you love. I like that. Uh, I like that you have to you have to give the other guy his chance. If there's no running at the clock, you know, you can't call timeout to ice him. If it's, the game's on the line, you have to pitch to that guy. You have to give him a shot. And it proves, you know, yeah. you know, I'm better than you. You're better than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's dope, dog. Do you actually watch baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't, dude. It, it's too slow for oh, me. Yeah. And yeah, and that's, they have like a bunch of new rules, especially for that, uh-huh. just to try to speed up the game and all that, but. I don't. I, I still watch it. I like going to the games. Yeah. Live okay. is completely different. Live sports is badass. Like, I'm not a big sports guy other than like UFC and like soccer kind of, but live sports is just better. Going to a baseball games. Over here promoting Hulu and shit. Ooh. Hulu well, has live sports. Oh, live sports. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor us, Hulu. <laughs> but even like the Chihuahuas games, dude, it's fucking cool. Yeah. Like, I like going just slamming beers. Yeah, live live baseball is a shit. Mm-hmm. Did you so who what, what teams have you seen live? Um, just the oh, I've seen the Yankees, but it was a spring training nice. in Florida. Nice. I've seen and just the Diamondbacks. Those are the only two I've been to. Diamondbacks in Arizona. Yeah. Nice. You? Who have you seen? <sighs> just the Yankees, dog. Where at? New York. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that's cool. <laughs> oh, and they and the Red Sox. I mean, they played the Red Sox. I saw the Yankees and the Marlins. Nice. Last year. Yeah, I'd like to fucking go to like Wrigley. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be the shit. No, like, I've seen the Rangers too. Saw oh, the, and the Rangers. Saw yeah. the Rangers against the, against the Orioles. Nice. I saw them against the White Sox. Nice. Yeah. Here. In fucking Arlington. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well, when I lived in Arlington, I lived like five, ten minutes away from that baseball park there. Mm. Could ride my bike there. Dude, the, the Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Yankee Stadium is badass. I was blown away by Yankee Stadium. It's fucking <sighs> nice, dude. Yeah. It reminds me like of like the Coliseums and like the gladiators. Like it just it's it's tall, like the pillars, like it's badass. You never been, Jerry? Never been, man. Should go, dog. That's your team, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You should go. You should take him, Luis, since you made him not go back to college. <laughs> oh, yeah, I dropped out. You owe him, dude. I still have your baseball, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have his what? His that's baseball. Bring me a ball from Yankee Stadium. He never gave it to me. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. I bought it. I just never. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought it. My yeah. bad, dog. <laughs> um today you should have brought it today. yeah <laughs> so we we were laughing not too long ago in one of the episodes uh of the snapchat you send us <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, yeah. thanks for calling me out on leaving <laughs> <laughs> dog that shit is funny dog <laughs> i want to get your side of the story dude because right. it was an unexpected <laughs> snap yeah, <don't> unnecessary <laughs> and unexpected okay. so so I have I had my gallbladder taken out, dog. So now, like, if I eat like if I eat some fucked up like fried foods, I have to take a shit, and I can't hold it, dog. Like I gotta take a fucking shit, yeah. you know. <laughs> so I, I was fucking. We went to Popeyes the night before. I had to work that day, and I had I got some fucking ghost pepper wings, Ooh. and if it's spicy and fried, dude, it's just like worse, like yeah. two times worse, you know. <laughs> So I tried taking a shit in the morning, dog, but it just wouldn't take, you know. <laughs> I was like, Fuck, I hope you don't I don't drink coffee have... in the morning. No, I don't drink coffee. Mm, okay. So then, um, I got to work, dog. I could kind of feel like my stomach was kind of like bubbling. I'm like, "Fuck, I gotta take a shit before I head out on this fucking route, man." And I tried to take a shit again, and nah, it wouldn't take. I'm like, nah, "Fuck it, I'll go." And I never, I never, I never take breakfast, dog. And then this morning, uh, or that morning, Miranda, she's like, you want, I don't forget what she took me, like a breed or some shit. I'm like, fuck yeah, bring that shit. And she packed like extra napkins, dog. <laughs> so like, so like halfway, I would say like a little more than halfway on my rat. I was like, fuck, dude, I'm not going to, I need to find, I need to get to a store or, or I'm just going to fucking do it right here. Cause I was already <laughs> like, like I couldn't fucking hold it anymore. So I'm like delivering to some boxes and I'm getting like mad torsones, bro. Like I'm driving on the wheel like. 
<laughs> I'm like, fuck it, bro. I can't fucking do it. I can't. So I pulled over like to the side, and it's chopper out, bro. You're not in the like. Yeah. At some point, dude. At some point, I'm at one point on my route. It's like I'm fucking cooking meth. Like I'm out of the fucking boonies, dog. Yeah. So I, I open the the pa- the back door and then the passenger door, and I like sneak in between the car, <laughs> and I fucking take a shit right down the route. Bro. I can't it no more. And then after I clean myself up, I looked at it, and I'm just like, oh, I'll just send a snap to the homies. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Oh, fuck. Dude. And I just said it to everybody. <laughs> Bro, wh- when I got it, when I got it, like, like I opened it, <laughs> and I thought it was, like, just dog shit or something, you know? <laughs> and I was, like, kind of, like, whatever. But then, but then, like, the next clip, like, I saw your face, and you're just, like... <laughs> I was like, wait, Jerry's, what the fuck did Jerry's I just all like, see, bro? <laughs> I had to replay proud. that shit. And I was like, oh, I you think, sick I think everybody fuck. replays that shit, bro. <laughs> you sick fuck, bro. And I was so like, what? Wait, what? I don't know. What the fuck? And then you play. Ah, <laughs> dog, it was massive, bro. <laughs> it was fucking massive. It was fucking massive, <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, bro. That was hilarious. Dog. Oh shit! And, and I have I have a scanner that that like I scan all the packages with and shit out there, you know. And then so they'll see if I go off my route. So if I were to like haul that to a store, they'll be like, "What happened? How come you run off the route?" So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll stay on the route and take a shit." Damn, you didn't that. like use the fucking like people's mail to wipe your ass and shit, <laughs> <laughs> nah. and then deliver it. <laughs> Fuck, no. I'm pretty sure that shit's still there, dog. <laughs> it's like a monument now. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. Bro. Uh, I took a shit in Chaparral once too, yeah. in the middle of the road. Yeah. It was late at night. Yeah, bro, it's the Wild West out there, bro. There's yeah, no you, rules out there. you can do whatever the fuck What's you want. What's about Chaparral? You just passing? Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a. Uh, one of my ex-girlfriends lived over there and one time i was gonna drive back and <laughs> every time dog every well, fucking I have, time i have exes dude what do you want me not to have exes um it was late night and i had already left and i was kind of already committed to the drive back and i had to go same thing and i was like fuck it dude i'm just gonna do it here like it was pitch black and it was actually like very peaceful because like the moon was out you know, it's nice, it cool, because it's late, yeah. like, at night, and I just, I take a shit there, and I just hear the coyotes howling. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and that was it, dude. I just wiped and took off. I think everyone should go take a shit outside. Yeah, go somewhere. shit in Chaparral. It's awesome. <laughs> I recommend it. How do you even, how do you even do that, Bro, dog? Like, the craziest time we went hiking, we were out. Uh, you went. Oh, yeah, <laughs> When bro. we went up to fucking Bonito, dude, we went on that hike, and we are just like, Oh, bro, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop cracking up seeing that shit, bro. When I was in the tree? Yeah, you were using the tree to do a wall sit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I fucking did. And, oh, oh, yeah, man, you were like that, above me, huh? Yeah. yeah you bro. were taking the shit above me and I was just like lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. So who, who went on that trip, bro? Oh, like, it was a lot of us. It was like Irvin. Irvin, Angie. Fuck Irvin. I'll fight that you. fool right now. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, yeah. yeah, Brandon's and then, my neighbor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out Brando, Brando, Danielle, and then Danielle. Danielle's friend Erica. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I remember we were we were going so we you it know was we during just, COVID. Yeah, it was yeah, during COVID. It was during COVID. Right? Yeah. So so we decided to go on this hike, right? Like you know, fucking camping and shit. So we're fucking going, bro, and. um I, I think we were supposed to follow a trail, but the trail had ended. And fucking, I think Irvin or somebody said, like, nah, let's just fucking go up that mountain. All right, all right fuck it. Yeah. So at first, it wasn't too bad, right? Like, you're you're climbing the mountain and you're fucking walking up, right? But midway through, bro, like, everybody was on all fours climbing that shit. Yeah, it got super steep. It, it, it got, got steep, so dude. steep, bro. <laughs> yeah, it it was, people were sliding, dog. Like, it was it was fucking crazy. And we we were high up there, bro. And um, Danielle's friend, Erica, I think she had just fucked up her shoulder. Oh, yeah, she had surgery or something. She had surgery oh, or some shit like that, bro. And she, like had told us so like half i shouldn't half, be doing this guys <laughs> ah, <fine>. yeah <laughs> so she made like halfway yeah so half She's of like, us were like down. we're like up higher out. right johnny was like in the middle and 
I remember like me, Erica, Danielle were like in the bottom right of the group. And Erica's just telling us like, I can't do it no more, guys. Like it's getting too sketchy. You know, like I have a fucked up shoulder. And I was like, fuck you. Yeah, it's, it's getting bad, you know. So like we're fucking screaming at Irvin and Raul like, yo, we're going to fucking go back down. And this fucker's like, dude, I got to go. I started <laughs> feeling it. I think the hike activated. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, was, I was like, oh, fuck. Every yeah. step. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, so then, you know, we fucking tell like Johnny and shit, like, yo, we're going to go down, dog. And this food's probably like, yeah, I'm going to go too because I have to go. So we start climbing down and shit, dude. And then. <laughs> This fucker just says, like, dude, I can't hold it no more. <laughs> and we're like, what are you talking okay, about? Like, what the fuck? You know? And he's like, I just gotta take a shit, you know? So like, like half of us are up here, the other half are down here, and like Johnny's right in the middle and shit, dude. And oh, shit. I just I see this fucker pull his pants down and he used like a tree to do like a wall sit, yeah. you know? And that sure hurt. Um, dude, I don't even, th- I didn't even think of it. It was, it was one of those where you just got to go. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. And actually it felt good because I was using the tree and gravity to like hold me back. <laughs> so like I was face, my back was facing like the, the cliff. So yeah, yeah. the tree was holding me back. Yeah. So it was pretty, as far as shits go, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was bro. good. That shit was funny. I didn't even have to push. It was just, it came it, out. It was funny because I was there with my ex Perla. She was remember oh fuck and she was right right. next to me like she she saw me take a shit (laughs) yeah (laughs) you had toilet paper on you yeah you had those those wipes right we had wipes the dude wipes i don't know the ones that you just throw yeah yeah Yeah. the biodegradable (laughs) yes those hopefully yeah Yeah. (laughs) hopefully (laughs) if not they're still still there a massive tree sprouted (laughs) after that yeah yeah Yeah, but it was funny because i just told him like just just don't look at me. <laughs> just like, don't make eye contact. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think you were gonna. I thought I didn't think you were being serious until I saw your pants drop and I saw like kind of your ass a little bit. <laughs> 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 I was all like, "Oh shit, it is going down, dude." I remember I take a shit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, That's the worst feeling, dog. Yeah. Yeah. When and you start th- getting the chills. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. And then and then these pe- the people that were up on, on top like they had to come back down. <laughs> no, well I think they I think you guys. No, nah, I ended up taking a shit too, man. And then, <laughs> oh, no shit. The and then just kept walking up once we we're done. <laughs> like, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take. <laughs> I take one too. No, I think they went I, towards the other side of. The I think mouth. it was whatever. Wait yeah. for breakfast that morning, man. Yeah. Yeah. So those people had to come back down. No, they went. No, the other they way. went. Oh, around. okay, okay, okay. Nah, but even the the, and it was like. So I guess there's like a, like a vehicle trail, mm. but it was like a little sketchy, but still like it ends because it ended up going to private property and you couldn't like, they had signs up like, don't fucking enter, you're going to get shot or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's house? Probably. Yeah. Because there's a house like in the fucking middle. Mm. It's dope. That was a cool trip. That was you remember, fun, bro. Remember the, the raccoons at night? Oh, oh yeah. That is, that, that was crazy. Yeah. So no, they were skunks, actually. Skunks, skunks. They were skunks. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah, skunks. That's what we were freaking out, because they were yeah. skunks. Yeah, they were aliens, dog. So, so that day, um, actually, for that trip, we ended up taking Danielle's little dog, Ollie. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were, you know, so I had, take, I had taken my camper, and Irvin took his. and So we were, like, kind of squared in, right, with the, with the fire pit in the middle and shit. And... Danielle had left all these little bowl like next to the camper, like full of dog food, right? And so we're fucking hanging out and shit, bro. And we're in the fire pit at night. Like it's yeah, the around the fire pit at night, right? And somebody said, "Dude, I, is that a fucking skunk?" And Irvin had a badass fucking lantern and he put the spotlight on, bro. Not was it just one? It was like five of them, bro. Holy like shit. eating the dog food and we're like fuck man and well, these motherfuckers were massive skunks well because bro. we thought it was something else first because you can see the eye, you know how the eyes light up yeah i think like we lit or something and we saw like eyes and we're like oh shit and then like once we put the light we saw all the fucking skunks and they were like like yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> they like lift up their fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then 
Well, yeah, we were like, how the fuck did we like do with it? Like, kept oh, throwing shit at them. Throw right, rocks. We kept throwing <laughs> shit. I took a shit and then I just <laughs> <laughs> started picking my shit at them. Yeah. I don't know. They just left and then we, we hit the food. I mean, what so. can you yeah. do, really? I mean, just fucking wait. Yeah, I guess. I remember the next morning and shit, like, we had put, like, our ice chest on, on top of the tables and stuff. Like, thinking they wouldn't jump up or anything, right? <laughs> nah, bro. Like, you could see the little footprints little, and shit yeah. on top of the tables and shit. We're like, how the fuck did they get up here? But, obviously, they jumped up, you know, or climbed up. Yeah, yeah they, get, they, they get on each other's shoulders and they're <laughs> like, I got you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that, w- that was a badass little getaway trip. Bro. It was, dude, because it was right during the middle of COVID. COVID. We were all fucking like, stressed out. Yeah. And we went out there and just did our thing. A lot of drinking. Yeah. It was, it was fun, man. We, were we did the full weekend, right? The full weekend, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was cool. Fucking cornhole. We played drunk Jenga. Fucking beer pong, flip cup, like yeah, anything yeah. you could think of, bro. Was, I bet, was, dude, because during COVID, you're just like, fuck yeah. Like, like, fuck, like we're finally. fucking with homies. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, let's just do whatever I'm the fuck. Responsible. Yeah. Spreading germs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that same trip, though, Rick and Michelle were like in a little cabin and they hit us up. I don't know if you guys remember oh, that yeah. shit too. Yeah. So yeah. it dude, it ended up being like a huge party and shit. Like the there last was night. it was a good amount of us. It was like fucking twelve, fifteen of us. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty badass. It was cool, man. We need to we need to go camping again. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We need another pandemic. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever get COVID, Jerry? Yeah. You did? I found out I was I found out Miranda was pregnant. First day I had to quarantine. Oh shit! I remember. Yeah, that, that sucks. sucks. Damn. Was it how? I mean, was it bad or? Nah, I just I just felt like a cold. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that you shit was fake. You only get it once. Yeah. Yeah. How old is your kid now? He'll be three at the end of this month. Yeah, and he's junior, right? He's Jerry Junior. Uh, no, oh, well, no. he's Jose Gerardo. Oh, okay. What do you call him? Son. Joselito. Joselito. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> to my wife, yeah. Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want more kids? I, I don't, dog. <laughs> what does she want? Does she, she want another? She wants some. Yeah. She wants more kids. Everyone's always telling us to have more kids, but I don't. I don't know more, dog. They're, they're a handful. They're a handful, bro. Nah. I, can't, I can't imagine taking care of that little fucker. <laughs> and having to take care of another baby, dude. Bro, every time I call this guy, right, like he'll answer, and right away he'll be like, "Hey, no!" Like, <laughs> you know, like I'm sure he's saying little head. I like, like, no, don't do that shit. And it's like, dude, every time I call you, bro, like, Duh, but I've, I mean, I've met him, shit. I've seen him. He's like chill. Yeah, he's chill. He's when super you guys chill, see him, but not at home. But at the same time, dog, like sometimes I'll be chilling at home watching him, and like I feel bad, you know, like I kind of do want to give him like a sister, or mm. brother, you know. Yeah, because he's just like playing by himself. Just get a dog, dude. <laughs> fuck no, fuck dogs too. I, <laughs> dogs. I got bit by a fucking dog right here, dog. When? Fucking chaps. Fucking dog out there. Fucking huh? chap out, dude. Huh? This recently? No, I was like in December. Fuck. What type of dog was it? Oh, fucking in Chaparral, mind. there's no yeah. there's no specific breed. Right there. <laughs> it's, it's all of the breeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Chapa dog. It's its own breed. <laughs> yeah. It's like a dingo coyote mix. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a little bit of Jerry shit in there, you know. Right? <laughs> it was eating Jerry shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And this guy's shit too, probably. Mine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that was so like delivery mail or what? Yeah. Fuck. No way, dog. So it's, yeah. it's, it's like super stereotypical, huh? Like dog. Nah, bro, because it's a stupid <laughs> fucking lady. So I, I was delivering, and she has a mailbox, bro. Mm-hmm. But this one time she stopped me, and she's all, um, you know what? I think uh, they've been stealing my mail. Or no, she's all, have you been delivering mail to my box? I'm like, yeah, should I not be? She's like, no, yeah, but I haven't got anything, so I think they're stealing my mail. No, no one writes to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, you're going to have to call the post office because I can't do nothing about that, you know? Mm-hmm. 
And then she has, she has like, she had like a gate and then uh, oh, behind the gate, it was like a shopping cart. It's like super <laughs> close, bro. Like I could just go like that. And I'll be done with it, you know? So then she's like, well, can you just leave, leave it in there for the time being? I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, but you still have to call the post office because if you, people are still in your mail, like they have to know about it. Mm-hmm. So then this one day, dog, she just had like a little fucking small letter and it was fucking windy. So I didn't want to just drop it because then it was going to fly away, you know? So I reached in a little more that time and the fucking dog just fucking got me there, dog. Damn. Damn. And then I fucking had to call the post office to tell them what had just happened. I called the lady out here. And then she's all, and she had, there's like three or four dogs in the front yard, you know? And I was fucking pissed, dog. So then she's like, well, what dog was it? I'm like, I don't know, one of your stupid fucking dogs right there. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't see the need for that language. I'm like, well, you don't have a fucking hole in your arm, do you? (laughs) (laughs) Here's your mail, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my bad. I yeah, wonder what what the pissed. what the stati- a statistic is for like <laughs> mailmen getting bit by dogs. But it's pretty high, dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I, we had like a fucking safety talk about dog bites after that. Shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like one of our employees, our own fucking looks at Jerry. That's funny. That's how do we start the counter? It's <laughs> 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 it's days without uh, bit of <laughs> <laughs> Do you work for USPS or yeah? Yes, sir. How do you like it, dog? It's all right, bro. Yeah. It's like today fucking sucked because we, we didn't work the fourth, mm-hmm. so it's like you get double everything, double packages, mm-hmm. double mail. So it's it has its days, dog. You know, just like any other job, but mm-hmm. it's cool for the most part. It's cool because I get there. You know, my I'm ready to sort my mail, sort my packages. I really there's not really anyone on my ass, you know. Yeah. So that's the cool thing about it. But it sucked, like from working with my boys to just being by myself out there all day on the route. You know, that's the only thing that I would say sucked. Mm-hmm. You're just by yourself out there the whole time. Because before that, you were at the wash, or were you at? Not uh, Sam's. Sam's. Club? Oh, that's right. You were yeah. at Sam's. Yeah, that's right. With um, with Mario. Mario. Yeah. Yeah. You I know, for the for longest time, I didn't know Mario and Andy were brothers. For real? Oh, shit. Yeah, for like Dude, years. They look, alike. they look like brothers. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> for years, I just didn't. And then one day, like, I don't know how I found out. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh, okay, it makes sense. But yeah, yeah I, I didn't know for years. And have you seen their younger brother? <laughs> looks just like him. Looks just yeah. like him, too, dog. Exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your route? It's in Chaparral. Chaparral? Fuck, dude. It's long, bro. It's yeah. Long as well. Sucks, man. I'm sorry. Because it's like the houses are so fucking far apart, no? Yeah, dog. And it sucks because, like, let's say the mailbox is right here. On, their mailbox is right here on the street, but then their house is like a mile down the fucking road. So if they have a big box, I have to drive the mile back. Then, you know, so Damn. that's the only thing that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say no good things come out of Chapa, man. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. But that's just my experience. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> The weed? My, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's the true. Weed, <laughs> the weed. <laughs> but, you know, you could get that shit here. Yeah. It's across the street. That's true. God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, you want to get your boy into sports? If he wants to, dog. I'm not, I'm not going to force him. Because if I force him, he's going to fucking hate that shit, dude. You know? Yeah. So, if he wants to, yeah. But right now, I'm just trying to get him off of fucking... Off of Disney Princess shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's... I don't know why the fuck he's super into Princess. Dude. What is he watching or what? Like, like he watches Frozen, Brave. Like, just chick shit, dog. <laughs> and, then, and then he'll be like, I- I'm Elsa, I have magic. And he'll do like... <laughs> and like I'll, I'll play with him and shit, you know? But, like, dude, I want him to like Marvel. I want him to like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> dog, yeah. you know what my son's into right now? Marvel. That's sick. I know, Damn, dude. Bro. It's the shit. I'm like, yes. That's fuck yeah. And Jurassic Park? No. Nah, he loves dinosaurs. Oh, okay. He loves fucking dinosaurs, but Jurassic Park is a little bit too scary oh, for him. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> 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 but he loves it. Like, he fucking loves dinosaurs. And he loves, like, rah, and, like, I'll fucking get a dinosaur and I'll be like, I'll eat a person in front of him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah he's, but everyone says, or everyone I talk, talk to about that say that it's just a phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of it, but fuck, I want to watch Marvel with him. 
<laughs> Why don't you just put him on and show him? I do, but he won't watch it. Nah? No. So he'll be like, put Elsa on. Put Ray on. <laughs> uh, but, um, Cause this is good. This story is good. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little cray cray. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dude. How long ago was this? You guys were probably like. You know, I remember. I remember school? how long it was actually. They didn't have Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Damn. In El Paso. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Had you had to cruises. go to cruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And we, we would. We were fucking fuck dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's go to fucking cruises. Let's go to cruises and have B-dubs <laughs> and shit, right? Yeah, it's not even that great. I know. Um, but, yeah, so so one night, me, this guy, and Rick, we ended up going to Applebee's. Mm-hmm. We got fucking, like, wings and shit, because Applebee wings are pretty good, right? They're they are. wings, right? Yeah, they're pretty bomb. So, you know, we ended up going to Applebee's, and uh, I think we ended up getting done, like, around midnight-ish. And, you know, we drove back. We were driving this guy's car, all right? Saturn. Remember the Saturn? Mm-hmm. So we, we get into Anthony, and by that time, it's already like 1 o'clock or whatever, right? We're young, bro. We're just fucking graduated high school. We got nothing to fucking do. The weather, it was like a nice night in October-ish. And me and Rick just decided to tell this guy, like, let's go to fucking Stallman's Farm, right? You know where Salmons is at, right? So, yeah, Highway 20, back roads and shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, um, I remember we're pulling up to, to Anthony, and this fucker's all like, no, I don't want to go because I'm driving my car. Like, I'm tired of driving today. And, like, we're begging Jerry. Me and Rick were begging Jerry, well, fucking put gas in your car. Like, we'll fill up your tank, and I'll drive your car, dog, since you don't want to drive no more. He's all right, fuck it. So, you know, we pull up the pilot, fill up the tank, and I take off, right? So I'm driving. This guy's in the passenger seat. Rick's in the back seat, right? So we take, you know, we get to Stallman's, like, at 1.30, 2 in the morning. And, yeah, bro, we drive up and down, like, five, six times, right? And... The weather gets crappy all of a sudden. Like right at 2 a.m., dog. Starts fucking raining. It's windy. And we're like, oh, fuck. Like, it's it's kind of creepy, you know? So this guy's already like, it's fucking late already. It's like 2.30 in the morning. And this guy's all like, let's go home. I'm like, fuck this. Like, I'm tired of this shit. And I'm like, all right, well, let's go one more time. Right? So we're driving down. We're up. No, towards Cruces. Towards towards Cruces, right? Oh, yeah. So we're <clears> driving <throat> up towards Cruces this time for our last up and down, right? And I'm fucking driving, you know. Jerry's talking to Rick on the back seat, so he has his, his head turned. And while I'm driving, bro, I see a person on the side of the road, like wearing green sweatpants a green hoodie with like a white bag plastic bag around their arm and they're like they're like this walking two three in the morning bro in salmon's farm and i'm like what the fuck is that and this jerry sees it and he's like what the fuck and then rick sees it bro rick was so terrified <laughs> rick is always scared huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> He's scared in these stories. Bro, dude. <laughs> Rick is always scared. Bro, he was so terrified. Like Scooby-Doo. This motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker literally jumped, <laughs> jumped over to the front passenger seat, and Jerry had him in his fucking arms like this. Bro. <laughs> and like, the, Rick and Rick and Jerry were like freaked out, bro. Right, and I'm still amazed. Like, what the fuck is that? And this guy's telling me like fucking go home like go home go home like he's punched me in the arm and shit (laughs) and i'm like no dog like there's no fucking way we just saw something Mm -hmm. so i bust the bitch dude because i'm like like nah dude like this can't be fucking real you know so we we drive up and i i I bust the ue like far enough where 
if it's a person like i don't want it to be so suspicious. obvious suspicious. obvious that you're just like busting a bitch right in front of him yeah, right yeah, so yeah. We, we drove like a mile or whatever bust the yui and you know fucking rick still in jerry's arms and shit you know and <laughs> we're fucking driving bro and we're like trying to spot it right like why the fuck is it dude like it should be popping up here shortly and all of a sudden bro like it appears or something like going straight towards jerry's car and we were going but like 30 miles an hour 40 and i i had to swerve off the road like literally swerve off the road to like miss it and like it was like like a movie dog like like you know in scary movies when it's like just appears to get you like a jump scare yeah like that's how it appeared like this fucker had to be like so it was a guy I, to me it looked like a, ch- a like chick. a lady dude like yeah. a lady like a lady oh shit <laughs> so you know so i swerve you know we fucking and this guy's already like go home like go home like, it's the last time was, you're fucking driving dude, I was my fucking, car. Rick, I was holding on to Rick like that, too. Bro. I was fucking <laughs> scared, bro. And I was like, all right, yeah, that's it, you know. <laughs> fucking fine. Let's, let's go home. Fucking take off home and shit, right? And then um, that next week, we had planned to go to Cruces to go eat B-dubs, right? And, you know, like, th- this guy was going to pick me up or whatever. And I thought about that. Right before I left the house and I had told my mom because my mom's a caregiver and she used to take care of an older man that lived by San Miguel area, like towards Simons and shit. And I know that he's seen shit out there before, right? Mm-hmm. So I end up telling my mom the story and she's all like, well, let me call Herman, the old man, right? And let him know what you saw. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So she fucking calls him up, puts him on speaker and she's like hey um louis louis has a story to tell you that he saw something at stamens and he fucking like cut me off cut cut us off and right away said did he see a person and i reply like yeah i saw somebody and then he's all like was it wearing green sweatpants and a green hoodie and my fucking mind was blown. I was like, what the fuck? Like, we fucking saw that shit, you know? And, yeah, I told him, yeah, like, I, that's what I saw. And he's like, yeah, I've, saw, I've seen that shit a couple times. So I told these guys, like, as soon as I got in the car, like, guess what fucking just happened, dude? And, and I was telling him, like, we should go back to Sonic, you know? <laughs> and they're like, no, fuck no. So, yeah, bro, we just took I-10, too. Damn. Two dubs but what if it was just like a homeless person that always wears the same thing because they have no other clothes? Yeah, like oh, I've seen that same homeless person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, bro, it's it was so weird. Two yeah. in the morning, and like Salmons is well, they kind don't of have like a home. they're just out there. Like, it's just, it's in the middle home. of nowhere, bro. It kind of is in the yeah. middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's true. But like so, the yeah. weird thing is though that you've already you were already driving up and down, up and down, and you didn't see anything. We didn't see shit. Yeah, you know. And then all of a sudden, they're all of there. a sudden, dude, at two a.m. Right, two thirty. Raggy. <laughs> and then why would the fuck would they walk towards you? Exactly. Uh, and why would you do that? Yeah. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. Walk towards a car. Like there's no houses in there. So they're just straight up walking towards you. Yeah, like fucking. Yeah. Oh, they're crossing the street. No, walking towards the car, bro. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but like crossing the street, like you're going this way, they yeah. come this way, like that. Mm-hmm. Or like in the middle of the street. How would you say it? Like at an angle towards yeah. us, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's like she, it's like they, they were trying to walk into the car. Yeah. We should go. We should go. Right now. We should, we should go, go right, right now. Just drive. Fuck no. We should. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take my camera. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll like, we'll do we'll a, vlog it. Yeah. Do some paranormal activity. So you didn't see a face? No. no. Which is weird, dog. But you and didn't. I, and kind of when, when, when whatever it was was like walking towards the car it, it, that was the best shot for us to see a face and we couldn't see shit but what do you like what, what, do you, what yeah, was like there it was like it was too covered and it just looked like black mm. you know wow so they could they see you i'm sure they could see whatever it was they, could, they for sure could have seen us crazy it was weird. so was rick more scared at that time or the time you saw the alien nah, he was more scared the time we saw the alien. yeah because <laughs> <laughs> that boy was 
fucking scared of that night. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Wait, I had. He's always seen paranormal <laughs> shit. Like, bro, like, like yeah, it was like a movie. Time, like <laughs> this motherfucking Jerry had this guy in his arms, bro. Like a fucking like Scooby Doo shit. Dog. Like fucking crazy, bro. Good times, man. Oh shit, that's funny. Damn, I I've never seen any crazy shit like that. I don't want to. Oh fuck yeah, it's never shit. have. I don't fuck with shit like that. Have you, Rolly? Not, I'm sure I have, but I just can't think of anything that, that <laughs> right now, man. I can't oh, think. Probably like, I fear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think right now. There's a demon in my house last night. I'm like, nah, get out of your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. I've never experienced any paranormal stuff. Nothing? No. Yeah, me neither. Me either. I hear shit in my house all the time. Shut up. For real. Like footsteps mostly. His house is old as fuck, bro. What? His old yeah, his house is old as fuck. It's like the oldest one in Anthony, 50s. probably, bro. Really? Yeah. Built like in the oh, sorry. Built like in the fifties, right? Didn't we look it yeah. up? Crazy. Damn. I was telling the guys that for like for like October, I want to do some like spooky stuff. And, Let's do it. Yeah. Spend the night in Jerry's house. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep over at Jerry's. <laughs> I'd be down. Watch the Sandlot. <laughs> That's only Fourth of July. Watch shit, some though. Frozen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still watching Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> like the Sandlot. What's this shit? Put on, put on Elsa. Oh, that's funny. Can hold it, dog. You know what the funny thing is? <clears throat> that louis mic'd up so when he goes pee <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what we were talking about earlier <laughs> i'm gonna hear it <laughs> he's gonna be like my wiener so it's little <laughs> where is it <laughs> well we're about that two hour mark now start wrapping up let's do three hours dog three Fuck hours it. no it's already be 12 um no way yeah yeah damn yeah yeah we're almost doing two hours uh we'll do one dude no S- start what? over there <laughs> okay <laughs> we'll do one last round around the the couch final words from everybody we'll start with our our guest today jerry um thanks for listening today aliens are definitely real <laughs> I saw one. And, uh, thanks for having me johnny olivas raleigh i'll come back anytime it was hell badass. yeah hell yeah don't cool man thanks for having Jerry. me Thanks for having me. Part two. Part two, yeah. That's it, dog. That's it, right? That's it. There's there's only two parts. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because if you start doing more episodes, then I'm going to have to start paying you. I can't (laughs) afford you. It was cool, man. Thanks. Cool, man. Nah, just kidding. Anytime. Anytime. You guys can come back. Um, Just know that we only have four mics. Yeah, that wasn't on. (laughs) (laughs) This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just fucking see my mouth. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, ha, 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 ha. yeah, it's just a wire, and I put a little sponge <laughs> yeah. in there. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> nothing, dog. No. You have to say something, nah, bro. That's it. I don't know. I, I we've talked for two hours. Okay. <laughs> uh, my final words is uh, go take a shit and chat, bro. <laughs> you won't regret it. I still got nothing. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. Subscribe, subscribe, yeah. Follow us. Merch coming out soon. Yeah, I'm nah, just kidding. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it, it will. I just need to get on it. Um, but I yeah, know. Thanks you guys for being here. This is really fun. Thanks for everybody watching and all that good stuff. Uh, really subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subs by the end of the year, and we're getting there. Uh, share the content and leave your comments and your thoughts the comments do you know what we get a lot of people commenting on our stuff mm-hmm. it's pretty cool yeah 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 so like random people yeah i like i like seeing that i try to comment on almost everybody but sometimes i just like it <laughs> if they don't say anything good enough i'm like eh. no you should comment yeah okay you should reply oh dude i'll take over your tiktok yeah oh, oh yeah. yeah raleigh's gonna be taking over tiktok so do you better put some good shit on there Bitch, send me what you want me to post. I'll fucking post. Nah, I want you to just start vlogging your days. Bro. A day in the life of Raleigh. Shit. <laughs> Everybody take turns? Yeah. Okay, maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.